<laughs> scream highly. Like, scream very loudly. Oh, we guys, there's no sound. There's no sound. Oh, there's no but sound. There's no sound. Oh, oh the sound is on now. I will have to oh, well. <laughs> Hello everybody. Take the first stream we are this was bound to happen. The, the very first stream that oh. has never happened before. Yeah. Yes. Let me do my intro again. Hello everyone. Yes. And welcome to the Shepherd Trials. Presented by One More Multiverse. I am Antonio D'Amico, and I will be your DM for this campaign. And these are my players. Say hello again. Hello. Hello, friends. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> this hello. is hello. fitting. This is the way that this campaign will start. But what is this Julie. campaign? This is a D&D &D 5e campaign. All players start at level 3. Because I see in the chat some people being like, how, how 18 strength? Yes. Level 3. <laughs> they roll pretty well. We will share our roles and none. But... Uh, it's a campaign about uh, becoming a shepherd. What is a shepherd? A shepherd is a type of defender of the city of Port Gamalo. These four brave souls have signed up for the shepherd trials, the trials that will lead if they succeed to become shepherds themselves. And that's the journey that we'll be following in this stream. We stream on Wednesdays, and today is our very first day. And I think that unless we want to scream some more, we can get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No I'm screams? No screams. No screams. <laughs> no screams. <laughs> That's right. Just one. <laughs> okay. Just, Just one? Guys. You want to go ahead? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 the smallest scream. Our story starts not with a whisper, but with a scream. But no. And it starts at the council plaza. Yes. The council building stands tall in the morning sun, its wide walls contrasting against the sharp blue sky. It's an imposing structure made of white marble and gold, crowned by many blue domes of varying sizes. Above its huge set of marble doors, the words Gamelian Council can be read. This evening marks the start of the Shepherd Trials, a competition to see who will join the ranks of the Shepherds, the famed Order of Protectors of the city of Port Gamello. The plaza is situated directly in front of the enormous council building, the two connected by a set of long marble stairs. The plaza would be hectic at this time of day with children, vendors, and street performers. But this evening, eight tables are arranged in a neat line in front of the council building stairs. A squad supervisor in legionnaire unif in shepherd uniform at each one of those tables. And at the other side stand small groups of people. This story is about one of those small groups of people. At the end of a table emblazoned with the letter E stands a human man of towering stature, late 20s with dark hair and pale skin in shepherd uniform. His piercing blue eyes examine the two people on the other side of the table. One of them, an equally tall tiefling woman, and the other, an orcish man dressed in fine clothing. Meg, would you like to describe your character? Yes, so Joy is standing tall at six foot eight. Uh, she's a tiefling with light skin and rosy horns and a rosy tail. Uh, she's adorned with drapery of all colors, pinks and blues. Uh, she is wearing quite the colorful outfit in general. She is not afraid of color. She's wearing a pink bow in her hair and she is looking around just excited. Her face is in a bright smile and she is just kind of shaking with excitement and also kind of nerves uh, as she looks around at all these other groups kind of intimidated. Fantastic. Right next to you, Nuno, would you like to describe your character? What does Joey see? Of course. Behind this imposing tiefling uh, stands a tall but short in comparison orcish ancestry um, individual, uh, male, green tintish skin, short pointy ears, uh, dressed in a very, very fine attire, light colors, white trousers and undershirt with a very fancy and bright purple pinkish um, capelets adorning his shoulders. You see that the embroidery on his clothes is very well made, probably very expensive, and he's also carrying on his side a very a uh, gem-studded rapier, as well as knee-high boots with golden adorns here and there. His facial expression is 
open wide in a very welcoming and definitely not as nervous uh, complexion as, as Joyce. <laughs> also, he has uh, bleached, almost whitish, uh, blondish hair. You can see the darker roots coming through here and there. And one of his ears is adorned by a very, very fancy dangly hearing and a few studs here and there on the rim of the ear. Fantastic. You both stand in front of a man in legionary garb. Uh, you haven't met. You all know, however, that you signed for the Shepherd Trials and you've been placed in Squad E. I think uh, Leon coming later than Joy and seeing that Joy has been there and looks quite nervous, he would probably interject before uh, the Shepherd man has any chance of, of chiming in. Psst. Hey, um, are you, are you joining Squad E? Uh, yes, I am joining Squatty. Uh, sorry. Hi, I'm I'm Joy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, sorry, my manners. Uh, pleasure to meet you as well. My name is Leon Ausband, and uh, I'm also in Squatty. Brilliant. I am so looking forward to working with you. Um, uh, where's the rest of our team? Uh, well, I guess maybe they're late, but... Uh, she kind of looks at the tall man uh, and kind of just stares at him, but doesn't say anything um, and looks back at you. I am not sure, actually, but you know what? I am sure that if it's just the two of us, we're going to do fine. Look at you! And it look, looks around and sees no one on the same height level. <laughs> you look so strong! Well... I, I will say that I am quite reliable, um, especially in a fight. I would say that uh, I, I can hold my own. That's for sure. Fantastic. Wonderful. And as you say that, a figure advances towards you. It is of an elven young woman, much shorter than the two of you. And you see as she makes her way towards your table. Sarah, would you like to describe your character? Uh, Nebia is about 5'5", five, five, just barely brushing, I think, the, the shoulders of um, the orc standing behind the table. And her, both her skin and her clothing seem quite weather-worn uh, and have seen quite a bit of sun. Uh, over her shoulder, she has a, a single, like, slightly less threadbare blue scarf draped over. Uh, and the only thing that seems new that she's wearing are her leather boots uh, with a bit of uh, gold metal glinting in the sun. Um, upon her head, behind her, her drooping elf ears uh, is a red bandana to like functionally tied back uh, for her hair and she she is gazing all around the plaza drinking in you know the light the details the people you know her body's going one way but her <laughs> eyes and her whole head's just looking all around drinking in the details uh, and she just almost bumps into uh, Joy when she quickly, you know, feather light steps, uh, takes a step back uh, and turns up and says, um, Table E? Is this, is this us? Why, yes, you have that correct. This is Table E. Are you a fellow squad member? I certainly hope so. <laughs> it seems like we're already at an advantage. Um, sorry, uh, my, my name is Nebia, uh, third mate on the Companion. I, I only just got off the ship. Oh, well, welcome. Uh, welcome to Porcimello and welcome to, uh, the Shepherd Trials. Um, yeah, it's so nice to meet you. I'm so looking forward to working with you. It seems like you already know what you're doing. I'm looking forward to it. I am Leon, by the way. Did you just say you stepped off a ship and came here directly? Uh, I'll be honest, Port Gamello's always been in the distance for me until now. I wouldn't miss the trials for anything. Oh, wow. Well, welcome. Here we are, and it seems like we're, we're going to be working together. I kind of looks around, sees the other teams of four. Perhaps we're waiting for someone else? And it looks at the shepherd on the other side of the table. He, said, he simply doesn't respond yet. However, as you do say that, a fourth and final figure emerges from the crowd that is encircling this council plaza. 
as uh, a man with dark skin and apparently some hints of scales makes his way towards your table. Drac, would you like to describe your character? Maybe not. You don't want to? That's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can stop here. The the game. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I'm playing a Yuanti. He's a Yuanti about six foot two, um, dark skin. You can see, like um, Antonio mentioned, scales around the side of his face, um, very snake like. Um, his mouth um, almost is a bit wider than any normal humanoid would be. Um, you can see that his lips kind of stop, but the rest of his mouth continues with fangs coming out from the sides. Um, his eyes are golden, goldenish brown with slits for pupils and slightly pointed ears. Um, his hair is like really puffy, like a full of like really thick curls that he ties in a little ponytail behind his head and wears a so a, a, almost like a it's got a metal um, breastplate like a bronze breastplate with leather um, formed um, over it and some gold and um, bronze gauntlets around his um, arms I think the weirdest thing about him is that shot to his back is a tank almost it seems to be made of like silver or some kind of nickel or something like that with a glass um, with glass, a glass window that you can see through, and some kind of energy is constantly sparking through between in there, um, and a very weathered cape that just he just wraps around his um, waist itself around his neck or shoulders, um, and on his head is a a steam a steam powered uh, capuchin right. monkey, a little robot that he created, and just sat, sat down his head oh and almost like directing him to the table with by like pulling his like pulling his head and directing his head because he seems to be looking everywhere but the direction he needs to go in um so his little, <laughs> little machine monkey's kind of trying to direct him and i think unlike um unlike our half elf friend who managed to stop him, himself from bumping into joy he walks right into joy <laughs> and then <laughs> looks up oh <laughs> sorry my bad i didn't see you there I don't know how I didn't Surely see that. It is okay. Welcome. Welcome to Squad E. I am so happy to meet you. I'm Joy. What's your name? Z Zyla. Zyla. Are we, am I in Squad E? And kind of like looked up at the little Capuchin monkey and the Capuchin monkey just nods his head and goes, okay, yeah, yeah. I am also, I'm part of Squad E as well. Um, is that thing, is that thing trained? Is that, it's what is it? Programmed, I suppose. There's some magic in there, I suppose, so it is sort of trained. Yes. That's His name amazing. is Kuzan. That is just amazing. That is incredible. Oh, God. I am <laughs> so relieved to have you and your little monkey friend. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your little monkey friend's name, if you don't mind? Kujo. <gasps> Kujo. Does it have a leash? No. It's... It, does, do I need a leash? Can I suggest is... one? <laughs> just like tenderly uh, pacing around, trying to get a look, but also not too close. Uh, and every time the monkey kind of like looks over, just takes a quick step away. <laughs> uh, an important detail about Joy, uh, she is holding a large glaive uh, and, and you can see it. Uh, it's, it's taller than her. Uh, and it comes to like a sharp point. It's very slender in its design uh, with kind of like this blue detailing on the handle that kind of spirals down. And the uh, there's a beautiful ribbon uh, that is kind of like a gradient uh, textile pattern uh, that goes from red to blue or like kind of like a pin pinkish red to blue. Um, and she kind of like eagerly points the glaive towards like the monkey hoping that maybe it'll jump onto the pole but like is is not too forward about it you know <laughs> not super obvious about it but it's just kind of pointing it away and um but you know if it, he doesn't come out I'll, i just pull it back to myself like uh, i think it's, i think it's kind of like a thing where um First, Zala kind of looks confused and like tilts his head, and then the monkey tilts their head as well, and they both just like look kind of confused, and then the monkey catches on before <laughs> before Zala does, and then he jumps, then he jump onto your pole oh. as oh. he does, oh. and as he jumps, you are elated, and you see as as soon as he 
jumps and lands onto the blade of your pole arm, the crowd that is encircling you erupts in cheers. You are completely blindsided for a second until you realize that the shepherd that is standing on the other side of the table has turned along with everyone else in this council plaza. And from the set of stairs that lead towards the council building, three figures emerge. You see, specifically, uh, some of you do recognize them, some of you don't, uh, but you see a human man in his 30s leading the way uh, with tan skin, shiny black hair, and a huge smile on his face. You see an older woman with white hair, dark gray fuzzy skin, a peculiar bovine nose and ears, and she's wearing long scholar legionnaire robes, and a lean elven woman with pale skin and long straight black hair, and garb in the most beautiful set of shepherd uh, armor that you've ever seen. You see, as the three of them arrive in a sort of like V formation with the first shepherd uh, that is don donning these bright yellow cape and sash. The, the woman in armor is donning uh, the red yellow cape and sash, and the woman in blue, the woman in scholar robes, uh, is donning the blue uh, cape and sashes. You see, as the crowd around you erupts in cheers, they know who these are. And to those of you that are from Pergamello, you know who these people are. That is Free Lieutenant, Alf Free Lieutenant Alfonso Acero, who is the leader of the Free Legionnaires and is dressed in yellow. That is Scholar Lieutenant Mirabella, the leader of the Scholar Shepherds, and she's in blue. And that is Marshal Lieutenant Safia, and she's dressed in red. They bask in the crowd cheers. Some, like, you can tell that, for example, Alfonso is there truly to bask in the cheers. You see as uh, Safiya, the woman with the long ponytail, uh, is more waiting for that to die down. And you see as Scholar Lieutenant Mirabella has just this kind smile on her face, just letting this happen. And the crowd like, erupts in cheers. You see as uh, the shepherd that was at your table clears his throat for a second. And you see as Alfonso, the one yet dressed in yellow, uh, advances a couple of steps down and touches his uh, his shepherd pin and his voice is amplified and resonates throughout the plaza. And you hear, Gamelians, people from this fair country and beyond, I, Free Lieutenant Alfonso, have the honor to start today's shepherd trials. And you hear the crowd exploding at the announcement and at the mention of the shepherd trials. Wes, once again, like every year, the bravest of our citizens have come to, the, to test their prowess in a competition of skill, cleverness, and might. It's no secret that as that conflict at our northern borders intensifies, we need our legionnaires more than ever. However, this will not make us choose easily. No, we will choose the best of the best. And that is what we're here to do today. You hear the crowd uh, booing at the mention of the northern border and this war conflict that you've heard about uh, going on with the north. And you hear them cheering at the notion of choosing the very best to become the Legionnaires. Well, I think that is entirely too much talking. Wouldn't you agree? The crowd responds. No need for more pleasantries and no need for long discourses. I, Alfonso, declare this year's tournament open. And you see as with this huge smile, the entirety of the council building is covered in these uh, like mixes of confetti that mix red, yellow, blue, and gold into a myriad of like an entire, like a rain of confetti that like almost like swirls around the council, declaring the tournament finally open. You hear as he, oh. mm -hmm, you see as he paces along the same like set of stairs, from one side to the other, clearly reveling in the moment. And she said, and he says, Now, what shall be these brave candidates' first trial? I'll be their first judge, and I wonder what I'm hungry for. And you hear the crowd, like, right next to you, shouting, like, A lion! A dragon! And you hear, like, a little boy here, A cake! Uh, and <laughs> he takes a second, he, like, you know, like, points at his chin for a little bit, and he says, I don't see why we should take it easy for the first round, don't you? Very well. 
I think that for the very first trial, we'll have a nice royal manticore. And you see, at the mention of the monster that you will have to hunt, you see the crowd lose it completely. But a free legionnaire is not a simple monster hunter. Emerge successful from your fight and meet your true trial. A ball. I am the Shepherd's High Ambassador, and I will be looking for those that will be able to impress dignitaries, nobles, and peasants alike. See you at the arena, squires. And with a marvelous flick of a cape, he starts to emerge the sets of stairs. The two women behind him follow suit. And you see as the crowd, like, that was relatively silent waiting for this moment to happen, kind of, like, starts to, like... It's not quite so silent, but you see the beginning of a crowd dispersing slowly. That was wow. certainly something. Uh, oh, oh of course. Um, Nebia, you said you just stepped off the, the ship, so you probably don't know. Those were the three leaders of the shepherds <laughs> that we just saw. They are uh, true yeah, they're um, gallant. Definitely... <laughs> More than myth, I'll tell you that. That uh, she, and it, kind of like the wide-eyed wonder that she had coming in is um, shrinking a bit, and, and now it's kind of a she's she's wiping her hands kind of on the front of her pants, um, and and like as a as a bit of a nervous tick, like just wrapping on the the hand drum that was at her side. Mm -hmm. How do you think they and like um, Zala's got like a book open and he just like just writing something down. Like, how do you think they amplified a voice like that through their bed? Do you think it's some kind of thaum um, thaumaturgy spell or something else? I'm trying to figure it out. It's really loud and a lot more powerful than a normal kanji could possibly be. Do you think Do you think we could get a hand to something like that? Or do you want to be able to pull it apart and see how it works? I don't think, I think so, large... because I've heard stories that half of the amplification is actually just his sheer charisma. Do, do you exactly. listen to the man speaking? The experience they have, the courage, the bravery, that amplifies the voice millions times. Joy, I mm. swear it. As you're speaking, uh, and it seems like particularly as you were speaking, you hear a curt cough behind you. <clears throat> oh. Well, I... you finished chatting. Yes, actually, we would um, we would enjoy our uh, instructions, please. Good. Well. I am squad leader Ivo. I will be your squad leader for the remainder of the trial. You will refer to me as squad leader or squad leader Ivo only. And like he lingers on you, Joy. Is that clear? Aye, aye, Cap. Good. Understood. These are your badges. He puts four badges with an emblazoned golden E on them. The trial will be in two days, not counting today. So, um,. Tomorrow, you will be paired with one of the teams here, and that will be the one that you will fight against the uh, in the trial. The library is not open anymore, not for the day, but I will suggest you go towards your inn. You do have an inn. We will. We will have it taken yes. care of, and it's basically done. You, yeah. Uh, well, the city fills up during the trials. I'm, Go. We'll have let's, it sorted, trust me. We've let's totally say, got this. <clears throat> let's say that we perhaps want to change inns. Would you recommend something, perhaps? I actually heard that there is a specific inn that has had people bail out on them right right before the announcement of the Shepherd's Trial. It is in the market district and it's called the Roost. I don't know exactly what it is. You will have to check. But yeah, I guess that will be your the first roost. bet to change yes. inns. Exactly. I was yeah. thinking of the roost. That was the one I had in mind. I I knew I knew that. Mm -hmm. He seems. He doesn't need to roll an inside check. He's unimpressed. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, uh, well, do we recognize the colors of his cape? Do we know what kind yeah. of shepherd he is? So looking at his shepherd, are you first of all, he's wearing armor, which kind of like is a dead ringer for a martial legionnaire. Although sometimes it, like if they're in the city, they're not in martial duty, they don't. But for general stuff like this, you know, what I mean, like showy presentation stuff, they are wearing armor. Mm -hmm. And what cannot be missed is the capelet. His is about like uh, elbow length, which means he's not a normal, like very baseline shepherd. He's a little bit higher grade. Mm -hmm. The longer the cape, and the longer the sash at his waist, the higher the ranking in the shepherd order. So he seems to be higher ranked than most baseline shepherds. And the color red tells you that he's a martial shepherd, for sure. Mm -hmm. You see, as he seems pretty, like, he doesn't seem battle hardened yet. Like, it's not like he's not covered in scars from what you can see. But he has this stern, mm -hmm. stoic look on his face of someone that has been the shepherds for a minute, especially in the martial shepherds for a minute. Mm -hmm. says, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Zala. I was going to put out a hand for him. To I shake. know, I know your names. Uh, no need to shake hands. But, uh, yep, I know your names. Uh, I've been giving you a dose here. I'm, I'm your leader. So, yeah, go ahead and get an in. Uh, I will um, heavily encourage you to check the library tomorrow, look on manticores and balls. Uh, that's how the trials will be uh, structured, by the way. Uh, first, it will be a monster hunt or whatever we decide is the best way to ch to test your metal. And then right after that is a specific trial devised by one of the lieutenants. Alfonso has chosen a ball. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I kind of stride up to the table and I'm like, how um, invested are you in our success? What is curiosity? The amount, of one to ten. Mm -hmm. the amount of investment I feel on your success is the one that is legally uh, required of me as a shepherd leader. And well, I are, are we talking bodily harm, psychological damage? I think what? that at that, you managed to... You managed to get a smile at him. He laughs a little bit and he like quickly corrects it to like that stoic no-nonsense pose. And, like, I will be meeting you at 9 a.m. sharp tomorrow. We will be there at, at 8.30. The 8.30, okay. 8.30, we're going to be ready and well-researched. And... No, no later than 9.15. You can count okay. on us. Okay. No we, okay. We've got this. We've 9 totally a.m. 9.30 max. Starting tomorrow, you get access to the library. That's it. It's going to be fine. 10. We've got Wonderful. this. That's is what excellent. I'm saying. No, not 10. No. Not 8 30. I'll meet yeah. you halfway. 9 33. You do you manage to crack a second smile. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like turns around and starts to leave. And you do see as the people in the plaza start to leave as well. Like it's uh by the very nature of Borgamello, a city that are like we're very much in the middle of the city. People are spreading out like very evenly to very different spots. No one is going to the same direction, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, you are left to your own devices. Squad, what would you like to do? I'm so excited to not talk anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Huh. What would you like to do? Well, it seems we have to go to this inn. I wasn't counting on staying in an inn, but if you all are, are staying, then we can just all stay together. Well, I would actually very much appreciate that. I was going to stay in an inn yeah. as well, but then got oh, lost not... and ended up here. Are you not from... Ara we didn't speak much, sorry. I oh, am no. Leon, by the way. <laughs> Hi, nice Leon. I'm Zala. And he, he puts out his hand again. <laughs> Shakes your hand vigorously. And I am very glad that you brought your little uh, friend because that means we have five people in our team, which is an advantage, huh? Yeah. That's Every little absolutely helps. right. Yeah, I, five. I'm so excited, everyone. I know that we're going to do great things together. I... I'm overjoyed, I could say, you know? Ha, your name is Joy! <laughs> your name is jo I get it. I get it. That was a good one. I, Thank nice. you. I don't think I can make one with my name. I'm over Zalus. No. No, I can't. <laughs> we'll work on that. I feel like that's oh, slightly negative. This is going we'll to be a long this. tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I like a second so. draft. Why don't we work on it at the end? <laughs> Absolutely. I think Kudo right now, like, is probably like jumped off of 
um, Joy's um, power arm and it's like on my head, but trying to reach out to uh, Nebia. So you can, like, just kind of almost like pick me up kind of thing um, towards Nebia. <laughs> As you are, like, <laughs> discussing at the table, as you're discussing at the table, you do sense a fifth present approach, uh, approach your group. Uh, a young man, tan skid, uh, his hair arranged in, like, neat cornrows that, like, cascade down his back, approaches you. He's dressed in beautiful clothing. He comes up to you and he says, Excuse me, I, I, I couldn't... I, I couldn't help but... Uh, realize that uh, you must be that group I heard so much about. The one that was made out of uh, those that could not find a group on their own. Well, I believe that that means we are all independent souls and we all are on this independent journey and together we have made a team and we're going to really, really bring it. My name's Joy. What's your name? Uh, that's nice, dear. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, so, uh, um... And Nebia kind of elbows <laughs> to the front of it. I'll, I'll handle this. Take it, take a breather. What of it? Oh, I, <laughs> I, if you would just step back a little bit. Uh, it, I couldn't help but wonder, uh, are you the Ospent kid? And he points at you, Leon. Um, I, yeah. I've heard of your family. A shame they couldn't find you a decent group. You had to come by the one that was Frankenstein together. Look, I don't know what people told you, but I am not sure if you're aware, but we got separated on purpose, right? We couldn't form groups. They told us, no, no, you know too much already. You need to stay alone and then we'll find you a group. I wanted to 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 find a group with the other people, but they didn't, ah, they didn't let me. Said it was too powerful. No, that is indeed a lie, but that's a nice try. So, um, the, are you all um, nobility? I, I I know the answer to, but I'd rather ask. Pardon no. me, um, I don't think I caught your name. Uh, My name is Matteo. Mateo? Mateo? Right. Well, uh, I don't think I chose you don't I... need an introduction to my family name. I don't know who you are, actually. My name is Zyla. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I am Matteo Shadid of House Shadid. One of the most influential houses on of the eastern hand of Port Gamello. I'm sure it's an honor. I, I, Absolutely. Are you gonna like? It's, she's gonna turn to totally and be like, Enchanted. "Should I know? Should I know who this is?" Kind of like whispers that to Nebia. Should I know who this is? <laughs> <laughs> I I just got off the same boat, man. I don't know. I okay. between them, I don't know who has the more stuffed shirt. Uh, Antonio, what do I know about this family? <laughs> Go ahead and make a history check for me. First roll! Hey! First roll! First roll! First roll. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting. I was like, this. ask a question. <laughs> that's a 15. Uh, that's a 15. With a 15, I would say that you know of this family as... They are the archetypal, like, long, like, storied like very, very old noble family with not much money. The archetypal noble that has their title and they're not poor, but they're definitely not as rich as they, sh like, as they believe they should be and as they want to, or, or as they want to be. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. Uh, in, in which case, Leon turns to Zala as he whispers to Nebia that, oh, oh, of course, because you, you don't know, you're new to the city. Oh no, his, his family is very, very prominent in the city, yeah. Uh, I feel like half of their business got into insolvency like a few months ago. They had to sell one to my family, actually. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it was awkward, I don't wanna go too much into it. You see us for a second, the like <laughs> smug smile fades <laughs> into a... <laughs> and then goes, goes right back to the person's man. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, I'm so very sorry. I did hear that uh, there was some kerfuffle about you joining today, like today's ceremony is here to explain. And as he says that, you see as this very small Arcocra person steps in, uh, he looks very much like if a blue day walked on two little legs. In fact, he doesn't really walk. He more jumps from one place to the other. Like in a, not in a, it's not a person way of walking. It's more of a like jumpy way of walking. Uh, and you see as he puts two, like, 
deceptively strong arms in like to the shoulders of Mateo, and he says, "We were we we were leaving. I'm so sorry. Our, our team is actually also done by random people. He's just something. Okay, I'm so sorry, you guys." And he like starts to like take him oh. away towards oh. like his. Oh. Group. That is what totally it? okay. My name is Elric, and uh, we will see each other soon tomorrow at 9 a.m. Bye. It's a pleasure meeting you. Good it's luck. Elric. He uh, seems more pleasure. concerned about getting you away from Mateo than like making <laughs> friends and saying hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but he does. Well, in absolute. That wasn't tension. an ideal first interaction with our fellow uh, trial runner, but you know, um, the other person seemed really, really nice. And. I am just so excited to meet anyone who is also going to be trialing with us. All right. Um, sorry about that. I feel like that was partly because of me, and this might happen because my name does carry a bit of influence around the city. Um, I Apologies? None, thank you. Oh, we have nothing to apologize about. And if there, there are some apologies that, that I will take. Um, you, you said your name, Karis? So, you know where we can sleep tonight, right? Yeah, uh, well, uh, the, exactly, because you know what? The shepherd wasn't lying. He actually is right that the city gets very busy this time uh, of the year with the, when the trials come. But I am sure if we go to the roost, we can get an upgrade just easily. <laughs> Absolutely. Way. All right. This way. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so you Kujo, make your get, way. Get it out of your mouth, Kujo. And it's gonna, while he's walking, like pulling something out of Kujo's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You see Joy kind of use her her uh, polearm, her glaive, to kind of skip along. Mm -hmm. She's just like, let's go. And just like kind of leaps up a bit and kind of like a skip and uh, starts walking along with you all. Fantastic. Go ahead and go to the overwall map. Yeah, let's go. Okay. As uh, as we walk through the streets, Leon points out like the key features for both uh, Nebia and Zala that probably don't know mm. much about the city. Like, so there's where the library would be that way, and this is this area of the city, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Absolutely, <laughs> and the city is looking beautiful. You can feel the sense of like festivity mm. all around you. It does feel like that kind of like uh city in the middle of a celebration the shepherd trials for what you know them started off as just like business of the shepherds and people were so into the idea of choosing new shepherds and shepherds became such a big symbol of the heroes of the city that it basically became a festival at this point right so you do feel that festival energy coursing throughout the city i guess a modern equivalent to it would be being in a city while the olympic games are running <laughs> you know what i mean it's like yeah. it's like that it's not a festival in the sense of like tiny, cozy autumn festival. It's more of a big city-wide festival. I will need an investigation check to make your way through the city to see if you find this roost. Can I right. help as well? Because I'm also from uh, the city. Can I help yeah. him roll? Uh, okay. Or, we or, have, I can, or I can do it. Uh -huh. We have two 11s, and I will count that as advantage. Okay. So that would say that... <laughs> It doesn't. Oh, wait, go... that's different people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but like, there I, was two yeah, rolls. Yeah. I got <laughs> the one. It was either yeah. two rolls or or one roll. So I would say, with that, oh, oh, two to <laughs> that, you should have been. <laughs> let's call rolls. Let's say like, okay, I'll do investigation, and then you roll rather than like rolling. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but with those two elevens, it does take you a a while to find it. I think that uh, uh, Leon, you being away from the note, like this ways away from the noble district is kind of dampering that like natural charisma so people are less inclined <laughs> to help you like perfectly there's like, it's over there you know so it does take you the better part of an hour to find among the chaotic mix of a little town like little buildings of the market district what is actually the winter boost but i will let you mm. know uh i think we're about 8 p.m at this point when you do find the winter roost and the winter roost you as soon as you do find it you understand the name you see a quaint little inn nestled between two big buildings in a very quiet part uh, of the market district or it would be quiet if it wasn't because 
it's surrounded by birds. You see seagulls, you see house sparrows, you see starlings, you see martins, you see pigeons, you even see like the occasional goth crow. Uh, it seems like they all flock around this specific building. And it's a very quiet part of the city, except for right in front of the uh, winter, like of the roost, this building called the roost, because you do hear a lot of like birds chirping. It's almost like being in the middle of the countryside, but like outside, like in the middle of the city. Uh, and let me set you a portal. No. What did that yeah. shepherd say? That everybody canceled their booking to this well, place? Everyone. I think he just said a few Someone. people have. Right. They say people tend to cancel at this uh, particular location. I wonder if it's because of all the birds. I it doesn't seem inquire that question as well. <laughs> It doesn't seem like by being there, it doesn't seem like this is like drowning you out. It is quite pleasant. You know what I mean? Okay. It's not like a yeah, horrible, yeah. Okay, okay. like, like it's, it's not the birds church. by his cock. Yeah. 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 I was well, thinking might that. Have been a coincidence. <laughs> might have been a coincidence that people have left. And honestly, a good one. We, we need a place, at least I need a place to stay. I don't know about everyone else. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that far ahead when I came. As you right, read. Well, mm -hmm. we'll figure it out as we go. Honestly, I think. I think we'll manage just fine. Mm -hmm. I've been sleeping in a sweaty hammock for four months. Honestly, a wooden floor is already plenty for me. Well, let's try and avoid wooden floors if we can. A room would be perfect. Let's see if we can do it. And Leon starts walking towards the front desk. Mm -hmm. As you enter the winter roost, it's aggressively cozy. It smells of like baking, but not overly sweet, more like baking bread. Uh, the place seems tiny. It's a very tiny building, uh, but you see, like, as you enter, you see an entrance hall with, like, a shelf full of keys, and on the other side, you do see a little cozy, loud, like, lounge area, and, like, further up, uh, it seems like a place where some, like, people would eat. At the other side of the desk, you see an extremely mad dwarf that looks at you, and the only thing he says is, your squires, that would be correct. We don't have any room. And he just turns around. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Please, no. sir, please. Wait. Uh, we, are, we were told that you had at least a vacancy, and I'm sure that we can uh, come to an agreement. Uh, we're looking for a, a decent room for the four of us, at least something spacious. I'm sure something can be done. We don't do squires. We don't do squires anymore. No more squires. There are always trouble. No more squires. I promise you, we will absolutely follow the rules here. We will not be breaking any property. I promise you, on my life, I will make sure that nothing of the sort happens. No nonsense. We are squires with dignity and pride. As Joy is saying that, I'm like tipping her glaive a little bit out of sight. To <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> trying to like oh, make it more horizontal. It, but like wielding it towards it. No trouble at all. <laughs> we will behave. Yeah. Go ahead and make me a persuasion check. There we okay, go. Okay. All of us? Or just joy? We're just joy. But since you help with the glaive thing, I'll give advantage. I will cancel the half action. You rolled a 19. You rolled a 19. <laughs> you want to roll that advantage? Or that will be fine. I will roll. Why not? In case it's uh, a <laughs> Yeah. Okay, it's not. So it's 22. You see, 22. as like he looks at you for a second, he just gives out this. And he just like hops down from his chair, up, 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 walks to the wall right next to him, like here. Blup. And he just bangs on the, on the wall. Otto, we have clients. And as he says that, you see, uh, as a running theme in this campaign, very, very tall, easy seven foot tall, seven foot tall man <laughs> emerged from the kitchen. In sharp contrast towards the dwarf, he's like made of smiles. Um, who would I give this to? Who has the highest passive perception of the group? Oh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not me. Uh, uh, Twelve. Your mine is 12 as well. 14? 14, okay. 13. Go ahead and roll me an insight check, Nibia. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, t -t -t -t. Oh, so cute. Look at him. <laughs> insight check. There we go. There you go. 
23? Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> you know, this, is, you, <laughs> this man is like, just comes out, of, you, you've seen him for a second, he's just come out of this kitchen area, uh, but he's like all smiles. However, there's something in you that tells you that this, as genuine as it looks, it's not an actual genuine smile. This seems like a customer service smile. Extremely hard to tell though. I respect it. You do see as he comes in. Oh, I respect oh, it. I, it's, I'm so glad we did lose four vacancies to shepherds, so squires. So uh, I'm assuming that, uh, yeah, Omar was not very inclined to let you in, but of course we need the clients and he just shoots like, blink and you miss it. I think that you catch it, yeah, blink and you miss it, like a scary glance uh, at the dwarf. Then as soon as he switches the glance, just bright smiles being like, so uh, are you looking for a place? That is yeah. correct. You would be enchanted. Well, you would. That would be so good for us because we indeed, like, we lost everything. These guys just dropped out of the trials today, and that was our vacancy for a month. Yeah. On my honor, we will not do that. Good. We will have this room, and we will enjoy it thoroughly, and we will also leave it as you know we found it. Because of course we On will, and her we will honor. Have Mm -hmm. And truly, mm -hmm. they probably, it's probably good that they dropped out as those people were trying to be shepherds and shepherds are honorable people of and course. they do not, do not drop out. Well, if you are to stay, we have to discuss the subject of payment. Uh, I'm assuming that if you do want to win, you will want to uh, have uh, lunch and dinners and breakfast cover, I'm guessing. That would be... Uh, yeah, 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 that would takes be, a couple yeah. healthy yeah. steps back <laughs> to stand with Zala. <laughs> that would be if, truly if lovely. Possibly, Good, yes. yes. Of course, I'm we not also much have... Uh, I mean, for people like, such as you that are doing such strenuous physical activity, we do have a snack option. It would only add a silver to your daily uh, amount. And I, I mean, you don't have, of course, to take it, but I, if I was in your position, of course, I would feel compelled to make sure that my body has the energy to go on, of course. He's probably right. We probably do just need to make sure that we're well nourished before I we could, go we into battle. Can, can I? Ourselves. Wait, but can I see if there is room to haggle? Is there something I can roll? <laughs> this is D and D. To... You have. To haggle. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to see if like this person would be open to haggling, or are you just do you just want to haggle? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's okay. uh, let's talk them down a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. That's a silver. Mm -hmm. uh, silver is ten copper. Silver is ten copper. Yeah, okay. so there's copper. I, silver, I was gold, I was thinking like, oh, what's a silver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what should I roll for that persuasion? So, what are you trying to? What do you tell him to convince? Like, yeah. what are you, what is it? Do you tell me, and I will tell you what you roll. Mm -hmm. We're we're really low maintenance. You know, we'll be out with the shepherd's trial the whole day. We'll only be back to sleep. They'll they'll be. You know, I'm sure there's excellent catering. Uh, for us there out there, is. let's I myself. call it amazing. And what what delicate hands you have! I can tell that these truly, this is this is a chef before me, and we would never impose. We would never impose. Oh, but it's let's not in position it, at all. Uh, how about we call it a silver for the room, and and see where that takes us? We'll renegotiate at the end of the week. A silver for the room, I'm afraid, is severely below our, um, just our basic prices. I could do a silver for lunch and dinner services. Um, I, I would, I would say that, uh, my dietary restrictions would, mm -hmm. would just simply, I would not allow me, and again, would never want to impose on, on an artist like yourself. Uh, it, w it would never want to, you know, put you through the trials and tribulations it would take to to craft our our delicate sensibilities here. Uh, so, how do you feel? Two silvers for the room? It's just way too long. Uh, um, I think he gets for a second. Go ahead and make a persuasion check to see if he's willing to drop down his offer. 
As soon as Leon okay. understands that Nebby is starting to haggle, kind of panics a little bit. Why are we doing this? No, this is so... No, this doesn't make sense, please. 13, I, he says, how about this? I would let you loom one, two rooms that are supposed to be for one guest, but I would put a bed, an additional bed. That way you only have to do two rooms. Does that sound good? And that room will for, be- right? Nothing like some, some team bonding activity. That room will be a silver a day. That okay. sounds absolutely agreeable. And with two silvers a day, you get lunch and dinner. I'll do it. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm perfect. probably going to make my own food, but can, can you take my price out of that? Uh, the kitchen will not be available to customers. It's, just, it's, 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 a, it's a sanitary precaution, you see. We we just can't do it. We, we will lose our license. But we That's can okay. I'll eat in my room. Fantastic, then. In that case, uh, it will be two silvers for everybody except for you. That will be one silver. Uh, you will pay at the end of the week, but we will do a down payment of one gold. Does that sound good? Leon, yes. pay the good man. Completely understandable. Yeah, please, no, of course. Yes. <laughs> good to hear. Well, welcome to the roost. Uh, I don't know if I introduce myself. Or, excuse me, I'm Oro, and that is my husband, Omar. And this is our humble and, if I may say so myself, one of the best inns in all of Progamalo. Hi, my name is Zyla, and this is Kujo. Oh, it's, that's very nice to meet. We don't accept pets, but that doesn't seem to be he's alive. Tragic. I mean, <laughs> he's sort of alive. Sort of. Okay. Uh, well, no messes. You promise. Looks looks at uh, at Joy Absolutely. for a second. Absolutely. On my name, Joy Everlight. I promise you, we will keep your room clean. Good. Well, let me show you on the down floor, and then I will leave you to it. And he does like go up uh, towards a little garden that uh, I would say that who would know this best? I think that Joy, you would know this best. This is truly like a luxury to have even this small of a garden, like of a backyard in the middle of the market district is a luxury. Yeah. And I, yeah. It, yeah, it is a pretty, it is pretty cool to have a backyard right in the center of the market district. And yeah. you do, in this like very little space, it does feel very like well taken care of. You see uh, flowers. It does, like, it seems like uh, someone here takes very good care of the garden. What an yeah, incredible okay. garden you have. Oh, thank you. My husband manages it. I, I, I kill every plant I touch. Not the best fur bulk, am I? <laughs> Please give give my compliments to your husband. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I don't take it too personally. He's grumpy all the time, but that's just the way he is. Your rooms are upstairs, and uh, um, your payment. Uh, who will be paying then? I I can uh, spot the down payment, and then we'll we'll just do the the price the prices amongst ourselves. Don't worry, uh, you can deal with me. Fantastic. He takes your money. Says the rest of the week will be paid on the last day of the week. Good. My my Wonderful. week is only going to be um, seven silver. So what do I pay? Since it's, that's not a whole that will be at the end of the week, dear. Don't okay, worry. Pep. This is just a down payment for the first time. Fantastic. Well, uh, you're welcome to roam about. You're welcome to take your time. Uh, I know that tomorrow's a big day. You will know who you're competing against. So don't let me take you more time. Uh, we'll retreat back into the kitchen, and dinner will be ready. Uh, we start serving dinner at nine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank, thank you very much. Fantastic. Uh, have a look around. Thank you. And you find yourselves in the middle of the roost, your new home for the moment. Wow. Hey. Uh, Leon approaches uh, Zala and kind of goes, Hey, um, Zala, just a quick question. Do you actually want to have your own food for dietary restrictions or do you just don't want to pay the money? Oh, no, I'm, money wise, I'm fine. I just like to make my own food. Okay, okay. In that case, you do you. Wow. Um, oh, by the way, uh, nice. Liam, thank you so much for the down payment. I truly appreciate it. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. I, I was just getting a bit flustered with all the haggling. You know, I'm not used to that. Uh, but that oh, good, good work with the words and all that, both of you. <laughs> that was nice. And good it's luck with the scenario. payment. That's really generous of you. Ah, uh, it's just Recovering the down payment. It. We, we we then split, you no? For covering yeah. it. We're covering it? Okay, all right, that's fine. Are you covering it? 
no, it's no, just no. one dollar. I'm I'm like, I, I will pay for myself. Oh no, Amy, he he paid the down payment. No, right? for all of it. It's okay. If if the mis if the misunderstanding was my fault, then I will cover the down payment, and then you pay your own separate uh, bill at the end of the week. It's fine. Don't worry. I got it. Oh, okay. for the rest of the time too. Well, well, let's so, not push it. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. Wow, this is a really beautiful place. It's actually quite cozy. Um, I feel a little awkward standing around the front desk. Um, should we try and find our room? Yes. Yeah, and who are we, who's, who are we rooming with? Am I, am I rooming with you, Leon, or? You're giving a set of two keys and you may proceed upstairs to find your rooms. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy to share with whoever, just, uh, yeah. Whatever you prefer. Right. I'm a bit of an early uh, bird, so I hope Nebio, you don't mind would that. Would you like to be my roommate? I feel like I could learn so much from you, Nebia. I guess our roommates make sense, right? Uh, to one person who's been out of the city, one person that's been in the city. Uh, that's a good split. Uh, do we, uh, is there like a key, like a number on our keys, or do we see any signage that tells us? It does appear to be staying? these two rooms on the side. Uh, this seems to be a master suit. So these two okay, rooms. Okay, okay, so. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, not that one. Oh, no, the no, one, one, one. The ones on top. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Right, well, uh, does anyone have a preference? Um. Hmm. Nevia is like kind of uncomfortable and in, in such an open space, especially <laughs> after being like in in ship's quarters for so long. Uh, I I'm just kind of eyeing the couch at this point and like pushing down on the cushions. Be like that's that's a little too soft for me. I don't know. <laughs> Do you want this this room? Sure. Yeah. Would you like to check the other couches? Maybe uh, you're gonna check a, the other couches. You're gonna do couch doctor. inspections. Yeah. Uh, can, can I roll a fluff <laughs> check, <laughs> please? <laughs> <laughs> the couches that uh, feel the softest are clearly the red ones left side. After your thorough inspection. <laughs> uh, I I go into the spare room uh, and Navia moves one of the the like nightstand tables and like mm -hmm. pushes the bed out this of the is, way so that this is not the, one of the there's like a have. nice nice corner by the wall uh and and kind of like puts her stuff down that's yeah, fine but this is not a room you paid for hey. i know i do know okay <laughs> <laughs> no if you oh, want to really... let's go ahead <laughs> uh, but yeah i i'll I'll go into one of these rooms and, and do similar like once I've been yeah. chastised by Leon. <laughs> <laughs> the moment Nebula like, decides what room she wants, um, Zana runs, rushes to the other one, and immediately, oh, wow. <laughs> immediately sets up all of the um, uh, like tools he has on his waist, on his um, belt, and starts placing them on the table, and um, pulls Kuja off his head and sets him down. So I'm probably going to work here a bit into the night. How long do you need to sleep? Oh, it's okay. Well, you know what? This is your room. I'll come here and meet you, but maybe I'll just sleep some other place and then I'll meet you in the morning because, yeah, I, I do need my sleep. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, enjoy. Uh, Who sleep in here? <clears throat> Let's socialize this. <laughs> yeah, I think I think like Leon would um, stay here until everyone goes to like, okay, this is the end of the day, and then sneak out, go back home early in the morning, come back here, meet them, and go to wherever the trials are taking place. Okay. <laughs> Unless there's like a, a night, um, a night like task that they need to do, and like maybe a, a an all nighter project. In this, in that case, he'll stay. <laughs> Fantastic. Just not sleeping with uh, Zala working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think if uh, if Joy overheard this, because uh, sure. the rooms are not too far apart, I don't know uh, if I could would have heard this, but I would have been like, 
Um, excuse me, Leon. You are more than welcome to sleep on the couch over on our end. I know that might not be amenable to you. However, it, it seemed like a pretty nice couch. At least Nebia seemed to... Actually, wait. Nebia? Are you sleeping yeah. on the couch or are you sleeping on the bed? Um, I... I'm kind of in the middle of a, of a setup right now where it's like I have two couches between each other and I've taken the sheets off the bed to like replace kind of like a hammock situation in between. Oh. And I turn to Leon, I'm like, you you can take the bed. I won't be using that. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, yes, I mean, mm -hmm. if we maybe I don't know what the trials entail, honestly, if we need to do like research until late, maybe I'll stay here. If not, I'll just go home. We'll see. We'll play by ear. But thank you. That works fine. Uh, right. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, so speaking of research, we will have to research the manticore. Um, it's always good to have lots of knowledge going into these fights. I mean, truly being prepared is the safest way that you can go about things. So I think, you know, lots of research tomorrow. The library is not open today. I think, honestly, another thing we could do is, well, go and meet the other people. Maybe see if anyone's out in the streets or, um, or, oh, oh, this would be good. If we wrote down, and she pulls out her notebook, and she said, if we wrote down everyone's kind of tactile moves, and if we all know what each other are doing, then there's less likely a chance of us getting in the way of each other. And then we can be fully prepared and fully ready for the battle. It's a lot of homework. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, I... No. But if that's not fun, no. we can totally just go <laughs> no, to the bar fine. or go that get something to drink. I think that's... that also sounds so much fun. If if uh... studying is totally not your jam, that's that's totally cool with cool with me. I will do it myself. I do want <laughs> to go out with you. I do. Um, but let's take this, and I, I, I take the little the little notebook, I peel back one little finger by one finger. Oh, let's no, put don't, this on uh, the bed. She kind of grabs it back from you. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, don't, uh, no, don't, no, don't, but don't do it, but like really don't do it. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> and let's take this with us instead, and uh, Nebia leaves behind her stuff and grabs uh, her, her hand drum. Um, I've, I've used this to set the pace for sailors with swaying oars, and I think we can set the pace for swaying hips as well. Let's, let's definitely go out. I will say, I want us to have a really good time tonight, but safety first, always. This is always what I'm saying. Safety first. We should make sure we don't drink more than our limits. It is, mm -hmm. we have to be responsible because we are also responsible for these locations here. And she mm -hmm. points to both of the rooms. <laughs> like a, <laughs> like she's like pointing this one and I, this one. <laughs> what kind of hall she's monitor, like, paladin? What kind of? <laughs> don't, don't worry. I will make sure that everything will work out and you guys worry about having a fun time. And if I see that things are going crazy, I will be the one to help rein us in and bring us back home. Uh, Leon, hearing this conversation, goes next to Joy. I think uh, Zala wanted to uh, speak with you. C could you? He oh, was me? saying something. C can someone help me set this up? Oh. Uh, I'm not strong yeah, enough. Sure, I will absolutely help. <laughs> Leon dashes towards <laughs> Nebia. So today we are getting her drunk for sure, huh? Absolutely. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, what, does Joy come Ella, to like, you I help? was told that you need my assistance. How may I help you? I didn't say that, but okay. Could you help me out with this? I'm actually trying to make sure that Kuja is working properly. And you kind of see that um, oh. he's, um, Zala's sat like, on, by the table with his legs crossed. And there's a like a piece of paper with a, like an arcane symbol on it. And Kuja is almost like floating above it with his parts dismantled. And it's floating in place as he's like trying to move bits wow. and pieces of them in the right place so for some some reason he keeps eating things he doesn't need to eat 
So I don't know if there's a programming issue or if there's just just something I maybe like a bolt that I missed out. Could you could you take a look with me? And it's gonna, it's gonna be fidgeting with Kuja's bits. Oh, sure, absolutely. Um, what am I looking at exactly? This is incredible, by the way. Um, Thank you. Right. It's it took me a very long time. I think I've been working on Kuja for maybe I don't know um, ten years. So it's really it's been a really long time. I'm I'm glad that he's working, but. The eating thing isn't great. Um, right. So this is Kujo's soul essence. Soul? And he just pre points at his like a... soul. Yeah. Whoa! That is so cool. I've never seen someone's soul before. What does it uh, look like? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, it's like it's like a, a diamond, an actual diamond, just floating in the center of um, his chest. Wow. Like everything, everything is like pulled apart so kind of floating in place but when yeah. you know that if it goes back together his chest would be where the diamond is yeah um so i don't know if maybe i there's a dent in it i need to polish it or something but for some reason he's got a personality trait of just eating things and not edible oh. things oh he likes to snack yeah all right hmm. well let's take a look and she's gonna with no knowledge <laughs> try and look for some sort of reason this uh this little cujo is not is snacking he's got the, the, the hunger go ahead and make a uh, <laughs> arcana or investigation check your choice okay 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 i'm gonna do arcana because that's fun okay <laughs> I, I rolled a two, so that's four. <laughs> four. Um, oh no. It paints it you really pretty. Yeah, it pains you very much to say this, but you can't help. I am deeply sorry. I don't think I can actually help you with this, but it is really pretty. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I figure it out. I, I enjoy the problem solving. Um, and he's going to start staring at like, I know, I know. I see it now. And kind of like he just gets a, like a pencil that is like on his end, like nudges a piece out of place, and goes, "Done, it's fixed now. That should be it." It was poking against the the diamonds. I think he just kind of gave it a, like a pang, hunger pang. So it should be good oh, now. Mm, yeah. And then he just kind of traces his finger yeah. around the sigil, <laughs> and then Kuja comes back together, and powers up again. Nebia All good, pops her head around the corner and is like, "Did it die? <laughs> is it over?" Who? <laughs> What's over? <laughs> I mean, I'm done with fixing Kujo. If do you want to, do you want to pet him? I'm so good out here. Okay. <laughs> Nebia's good out here. <laughs> right. But I will drink to his health if you want to join us, Zella. We are stepping out, possibly uh, doing some reconnaissance of the other teams. Okay. I think that's Do we know like a, a good really lemonade good place? Lemonade. Oh, that sounds delectable. Sure. <laughs> we can start with lemonades. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make your way right. down towards the uh... Yeah, yeah. So heading down. First downstairs. <laughs> You do uh, find, once again, uh, Otto, uh, the, the grumpy dwarf. Doesn't seem to be saying much. Uh, you don't see him. You do see Omar that has, like, gone into the front desk. And as he meets you, he does say, like, oh, well, uh, uh, back again, back out? Are, are we going somewhere? Yeah. That um, would be actually, correct, yeah. Some oh. of the people aren't from Port Camelo, so we're going to do just a little tour. You see, sightseeing, and then we'll come back later. Hmm. Well, stuff like uh, the big buildings will be closed at this time. It's around nine, but taverns will be open. Uh, do you, you could go to that one where, like, there's squires that like to hang around there. Oh, oh squires! That's perfect, actually. Please. They used to. Really. Wait, I've never been. I know, I know a tavern, and they do have lemonade. Oh, I walked past mm -hmm. it. Actually, I accidentally walked into it thinking it was where we were going to meet up for Squad E, and everyone looked at me very confused when I asked about Squad E. Um, it's called um. <laughs> Merry Crow? Is that what you're talking about? The Merry Crow? Oh, the, the, that one is on the other side of the market district, but yeah, oh. it's also good. It's, yeah, it's a good one. I've heard. Well, I, would, I mean, I promise you we will visit this lemonade stand, but would you mind? Or Oh, the Merry Crow is not a lemonade stand. I do hear it. It's pretty, 
it is pretty well known I got, uh, in squire circles. Anything close to the council building, really? you do tend to see a lot of squires, yeah. Wow, then huh. truly any of those places sound really great to me. Uh, Leon kind of uh, eyes Nebia and kind of goes, Two taverns? Do you think, are you thinking what I'm thinking? We should touch them, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. No, nope. no, nope, but yes. <laughs> you should just uh, yeah. <laughs> Leave, run out the door now, no, go, go. So, which one are we going to? Right. Well, I was thinking we should. It start is important with a... to think about. Yes, sorry. Go ahead. Start with the closest one. Uh, mm -hmm. and then go to the further one, and then when we come back, we pass again through the closest one, and everyone will be drunk, and we can get more intel in the other uh, squares. That sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> okay. Why are we waiting for them to get drunk? Hmm. Well, I mean, I I've seen... This? I've seen in my experience that the more drunk some people get, the happier they become. And, you know, as long as everyone's being safe, I think it's a good time. I, th I feel like that's not healthy. Okay. Safety first. If they're and safe isn't. and drinking responsibly, then it shouldn't be a problem. A little drink in the here and there is okay, but safety first. The steely glare safety first. <laughs> I kind of look at all of you and I scan all of you. Safety first. <laughs> all right. Um, Shall we? I went out to the overworld. Are we portaling somewhere else? No, we're going to the overworld. Oh, okay. Ooh. Lovely. <laughs> Maybe it did you said ditch us, after all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, I, I do want to know, you said sometimes people drink and it makes them happier. And I was like, is that what they call you, Joy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been told I'm a good time. What would you like to In do? Shall we go to the tavern? Yeah, let's go. Which one? Are, are we doing the one that uh, uh, the, the Zala one. wanted to do? Uh, the I think we're starting one. with the uh, the one the uh, innkeeper recommended. The one the innkeeper recommended seems to be uh, a little ways away, like closer to the inn, but deeper into the market district. The one that Zala recommended is, because the inn is not at the center of the market district, is mm -hmm. uh, a outside of the market district, it's really close to that bridge that you guys are standing in. Oh, okay. Well, if that one's closest, I'd say go to the closest one and then end the night on when everyone's drunk in the other one. <laughs> Fantastic. So you do make your way, uh, finally, towards the Merry Crow. Uh, the tavern itself seems to be uh, pretty well maintained. This is not a fancy tavern by any means. It just seems like a the kind of tavern of... You know when you're in the middle of a city and you're like, that place that very small place is probably worth like a place that is seven times bigger outside of the city you kind of mm -hmm. feel like there's a person that has chosen this tavern because uh of its location rather than because of like its beautiful um decor mm -hmm. yeah. and entering the merry crow the ambience seems to be pretty good it seems to be pretty um like people seem to be happy seem to be having fun uh with a very like quick cursory glance you do see people that you were right next to in uh, the council plaza. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, okay. It seems ooh, to be a group right of here. primarily... I'm sorry, what? Uh, it's all just says, ooh, mm -hmm. there's people here as well. Yeah, it seems to be a group of primarily dwarves. They were uh, standing at the table right next to you, like right next to you, to the right, I believe. Or not? Mm -hmm. I can't remember right now, but basically you did spy yeah. some of them at the council <laughs> plaza. If they we're group E, they might be group F. I think so, yes. Should we... Are we going to be competing with them? We don't know yes, yet. They... We have to... We better well... make some friends before we make some foes. 
sounds good. And then Zala immediately starts going up to them. <laughs> I like her tenacity. And she starts following this, like, long legs. She she catches up quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Now that you see them closer, you do see... Uh, they, you do see a family resemblance through every single member of this family. You do see a man with a bald head and a big, long, black beard, like very bushy, very thick beard. Uh, you see a woman uh, who seems to be middle-aged with short crop red, like it seems to be dyed hair and thick spectacles, but she's armored. Like it seems like the entire family is armored in some way or another. Uh, and the two that seem to be children, you see... Uh, a young woman, she must be, or at least she looks like, dwarfs live for longer than humans, but she must be around early 20s, and the other sibling, uh, they seem to be around mid-20s. As you approach, uh, the father, like, with a big, bright smile, says, Hi! Hi! You're Squad! Hi. Squad! Yeah. Squad, yeah, you're e. looking at us! Squad J! You're Squad looking at J. me! Squad J! Yeah! How's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm Zala. Nice to meet you. I'm Joaquin. He spits out of her hand and just waits there for a handshake. He, like, makes his little way with his little tiny stompy legs towards you. <laughs> and he does shake your hand. It's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, I just reach over him and say, <laughs> Joy. <laughs> 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 he does shake your hand as well. I'm Rakim. This is my wife, Enola. And this is my daughter, Amira. And this is my child, Amna. And we're very, we're very glad to meet you guys. It is so lovely to meet you all. Oh, isn't this so exciting? Today, oh, it, it is began. the very beginning. Uh, it, you do seem like one uh, a team that has been cobbled together rather than a team that came in together, right? Truly, I already feel so connected to everyone here. It's like we were meant to be together like this. That's it's nice. Be so good. That's nice. We're just family. We don't have a lot of like, fancy talk. But please go uh, grab a ta well, grab a chair and sit at their table. That's a Ooh, that's yeah. a mighty bond. That mm -hmm. will surely, surely surge you forward. Absolutely, we believe so. We're very close to the family. You see, as the kids tend to be like less interested in the conversation though i seem to be listening the kids seem to be not particularly engaging in the conversation but they are listening oh and this is kujo you see as one of them like the eyes dart towards the beast like like and uh it's, this seems to be amna they go towards you and say oh is that is that a, is it, is it automaton yeah i made them myself oh, um, would I be so bold? Uh, could I be so bold as to ask to see it? I would love to see it. Of course, yeah, please. <laughs> Nivia is on the corner sulking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see, as she like, they extend their hands towards the little monkey. They take it in their arms and they start to like not pet it. You can tell that this is a person that is not treating as an as an animal. They like more like like swivel the head and like check the joints and see like. Uh, the amount of articulation and stuff like that. He said, like, so is it arcane powered, I presume? Yes, yes, That's arcane fantastic. powered. fantastic. Well, it's really, it's intricate work. Yeah, it took me a very long time to get all the pieces I needed. Fantastic. I think the most expensive part was definitely the soul, the, well, the essence, I suppose. Soul just seems like the more hum humane term for it, but I oh, suppose I it's still just the essence. I don't care for personaliz personalization of, uh, Constructs, but it, it is a beautiful piece of machinery. Congratulations. Uh, Thank I, you. I, she turns towards you, Nebia. Are, are you also an artificer, perchance? Um, Nebia comes over with a, a tray of drinks mm. and uh, a big smile like you haven't seen on her face all night. Mm -hmm. And she says, Why, hello, uh, TMJ. How, how's your stay in the city been? I hope you found accommodations easily. Please, please, on him, take this. And she places uh, drinks along the table. Mm -hmm. um, and she leans over to Leon and says, oh, by the way, uh, take take care of that tab by the end of the night, okay? Because we, we're going to want to come back. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> this, this cannot become a habit. Tonight, okay. <laughs> on, on her honor. Um it won't become a habit. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> 
<laughs> on her honor. I love Actually it. laughs at that a little bit. <laughs> So I just look at my drink like, which one of these are, which one of these are lemonade? This they one. are yellow, but <laughs> I one. will I will tell you they are not lemonade, and surely they God do not it. taste like lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> can I have water? But it is then? very good and can lead to fun times as long you as see... you're safe. You see, as like um, the uh, you see, as like uh, the middle-aged woman puts her hand on your shoulders, all and says, "Don't worry, dear, uh, uh, barman, could you, could you please?" And like you see, as she makes a, um, a hand gesture toward the waiter, the waiter does come over, uh, and he says, "Well, another squire group, huh?" Hi, I'm Zala, and this is Peter. Uh, I'm Bernard. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, what can I get you? You want even more to drink? And you see as he looks at you, uh, Nebia, a little bit. Want some more? You barely finished yours. Um, do you have lemonade? I personally do not partake, but but my companion here definitely needs his first drinks of the night. Uh, uh, lemonade with something in it? Oh, um, Lots of something. Think, do you have like a special? Oh, today's special, I believe, is lemonade, spiked lemonade. Okay, um, can I have the lemonade without the spike? So just lemonade. Yeah. Okay. I will just have say a pale just lemonade. ale. No. Sorry. You don't have that. I'm so sorry. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Got I'm, it. So I'll it's just not that kind of establishment. I'll you can just... go to the noble district. Right. Right. I'll just take a beer. Sorry yeah. about that. Don't mean no, to it's be not good. Bothered. It's just we don't offer that. Uh, what about you, young man? Do you also want kale ale? No, He's looking at you. Lee. No, you, you misunderstood. Pale, pale ale. You don't, you don't care. Oh, uh, really? I That's... thought you yeah. said kale ale, like kale. <laughs> pale <laughs> ale. <laughs> and I was like, I've never heard of that so mess. Yeah. That's where he gets <laughs> the green That's complexion. Healthy. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I thought oh, that you were healthy. trying to be healthy, and I was like, no, they don't got fucking kale ale. <laughs> no, they so don't. Funny. <laughs> kale that is ale. so funny. Kale ale. Okay, we need to we need to get that in the campaign. Yes, yeah, so the we'll, kale ale is a, a, a traditional drink of Europe. Kale so it's ale. just not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Pale ale. They sure. have. Would you like pale ale then? Yes, she would like a <laughs> pale ale. <laughs> I, I, would, I would much would much kale rather ale. prefer kale ale. But if you don't have it, but then she I'll for have sure. Oh, I'm very sorry. We don't we don't carry ale. kale ale. I know it is quite common in the <sighs> upper districts, but not here. Yeah, no, I just love right. it, and it's green color, mm-hmm. the hue. It's emerald. Mm. Emerald, you're you're so right. It does kind of shine, <laughs> in its color. Good. Anyway, what would <laughs> what, what would I, what would you need? A Leo. pale ale. No, Leo. The largest. Oh, oh okay. uh, since you have kale ale, I'll have uh, the same as 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 uh, my companion here. Another pale ale. Good. Renard to the rescue, and you see as he leaves. <laughs> and starts serving you drinks in a second back. He brings them towards you, and the other dwarves like signal you to come towards the de- towards the main table. And he's to sit down. Um, Zala oh. sits down next to the one. What was, who was it? Um, Amna? He was expecting um, uh, Kuja? Uh, so that that would be Amna. They were like um, uh, very interested in Kuja, yeah. As uh, yeah. Uh, the tiny little redhead dwarf uh, to the south. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, he's going to sit right next to Amna and be like, Are you an artificer? You seem to know a lot about, or at least have an interest in contracts. Do you oh, yeah. dabble I, yourself? Yes, I'm quite, I love, uh, well, I, I, I used to work for uh, a very big manufacturer in the city here uh, in terms of artificer. And then my dad got really excited about the Shepherd Trials, and now I'm here. And you can tell there's a, and now I'm here. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm doing this now. Like it's, she doesn't like they don't seem to be super taken by the idea of uh, the Shepherd Trials, but uh, they are doing it. Oh, that's really okay. Well, if you need anyone to talk about, I suppose anything to do with artifacts, and let me know. I, I'm always happy to talk about my creations. I'm actually working on some things, I'm trying to create a sending stone because the ones that they, you can buy are really expensive. Mm-hmm. But I think I know how to dabble with the runes and uh, scripts they use for. Uh, Thaumaturgy spell and maybe use that instead to be and a message spell and kind of combine those two to make a pair of setting stones just for cheaper you know the ones they sell in the marketplace seem to be in my opinion when it comes to the um, ingredients and the things you need for it it's almost extortion so I want to make a cheap more affordable option for people 
you see as she's about to begin a horrible nerd's like monologue about uh, the current state of sending um, uh, technology as the father rudely interrupts and you see Nebia as he drinks uh, the entire pint that you brought, he puts it down on the table mm -hmm. and he says, ah, well, little drinking contest, huh? Uh, he looks at you, Nebia, specifically. Come on, come on. This is like absolute primal fear flashes in Nebia's <laughs> eyes. Um, oh, you brought the drinks. I did, I did do that, I did, huh? Um, <laughs> Um, a fine warrior such as yourself clearly needs someone who who can match your skill, your your prowess, and why why not set you up with a true match? And I tug Joy over to sit <laughs> by me. You ready to make a new friend? Am I? <laughs> she she like oh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she uh, have we received our our drinks yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I brought, brought them over. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, I grab uh, the pale ale, uh -huh. and I go. Pale ale. I'm ready when you are, sir. He grabs another one. Like I think he grabs one of the kids. <laughs> he like grabs one, yeah. and he goes like, "Let's do it," and then. We're gonna take a break. We'll take a break, then we do drinking context, then we get into a little bit more of the actual trial, and there we go. So Amazing. see you guys very, very soon. It will be a ten minute break and then we'll be right back. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Five, Five minutes or ten. Right. Ten, ten, ten. ten. Something ten. About that. Yeah. This yeah. is a cute little Can't drink. Just... Uh, a little drink during the BRB screen. Fantastic. <laughs> See you guys very soon. Come on. Wait for us, we'll be right back. Bye bye. Don't leave, Don't leave. Yeah, or, or else. Don't leave. Stay. And welcome back. So, for those that are joining us after this break, uh, our heroes were just like just uh, came from being announced what the next, the, the first trial of the Shepherd Trials will be, and have procured, like procured themselves some in rooms and have gone out to drink and been challenged by another squad for a drinking contest. So, before we get into that, shout out to Calliope, ex Calliope on Twitch, for guessing the icon for today's little uh be right back screen it was indeed arcane eye congrats calliope uh the best <laughs> we love you fantastic work out there can't wait to see what you do next uh, Absolutely. keep it up really keep it up. <laughs> show stopping talented amazing afraid to not afraid to reference or not reference shit on it vomit on fantastic <laughs> amazing creative incredible we stand thank calliope. you we stand calliope thank you yeah so <laughs> After a little shout out, should we get into it? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. So, Joaquim of Squad J has challenged you to a do 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 wall. <laughs> that was really good. Hey! Uh, send you really good. to the Shadow Realm uh, through uh, by drinking. Okay, Let me it. get some happy music going. Fantastic. Drinking music. I don't have much music, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> but let's go. So, uh, Joy, you've taken your, not kale ale, but pale ale this pale time. Ale. And it's that you see Joaquim, like, shoot daggers. Maybe not shoot daggers, like, shoot this, like, sense of... Um, rivalry. Rivalry to you. Let me sec give me a second. I'm going to get my dice. Uh, no. Where are they? And maybe I should have brought the dice ready in the game. Maybe that'd be good. Uh, I'll get a dice roll. <laughs> we were like, oh, I don't think there's going to be combat this session. And then we truly didn't bring any dice. But fantastic. So, Joy, 
Yes. What would you like to do? I am looking at him fiercely in the eyes. As my respected competitor, I am ready to begin this drinking game. This doesn't, and you see this whole thing doesn't seem foreign to Joy. Mm -hmm. She is super ready for this and is ready for a challenge. It doesn't seem like Joaquim is- Flares back. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Joaquim is foreign to this either. So you both take a huge swing of your respective drinks. Go ahead and make me a constitution saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> Do it. <laughs> clicked. I clicked. Did it go? It's coming. It's coming. Uh, Nevia's like, has her hand oh. drum out, like building oh, up no. anticipation. <laughs> you see, uh, I rolled a four. You did roll a four. <laughs> you see, as, oh. a four. Well, game rolled a seven, but he, so I guess he beats you. You see, oh my uh, god, we both struggle. You see, as you both take a big swing and it passes with some difficulty, it goes straight to your head. This seems some strong pale ale. That but is you so do see that, like, Joaquin just wine the pale ale from his lips and he goes, another one. You lose. Let's, he, you see, as he takes another swing, he's like, yeah. ready for the second round? Absolutely. Oh, boy. I kind of go. <laughs> you wait, both... wait, 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 wait. This is, a, this is a saving throw, right, Antonio? It's a saving throw, yeah. Okay, Leon from the other side of the table is going to focus on Joy and say Cheating. something like. Empty cups, foamy lips, bang on tables, bang on stools. Joy comes after drink. And uh, bardic inspiration. <laughs> well, no, right? yes. That's profound. No, it wasn't. Poetry it was doesn't profound. need to rhyme. <laughs> no. Wow. Mm. Wow. Inspiring. After wow. so such an inspiration. You profound. This sudden. Sorry, it's too much. One drink is sassy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Excuse me if I didn't no, that was that was Megan talking. I'm not. That was <laughs> that was. <laughs> Joy says, "Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." Okay, you both down your drinks. You with the power of bardic inspiration. He rolls. Yes. Okay, not bad. Fourteen. Okay, let's see. And Come then... on. <laughs> Do it. Maybe I'll refresh. Yeah, DMD Beyond taking some time. Oh. <laughs> yep. Okay. Inspiration. Inspiration, right? Yeah, yeah. So D6, that's yeah. a D6. Oh, God. Please yeah. be a 6. <laughs> <laughs> please be a 6. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I rolled. I rolled bad again. I rolled a 4. You're even good at con. Yeah. How are they taking so long? <laughs> yeah. Should I just refresh? Yeah, yeah maybe it should refresh. refresh. I shall refresh. This D6 is, is refreshing so like this, this, oh, this D6 is so... A three. A three. It's a three, so that's, really... that's only a nine. As oh. you both put down your glasses, you're, uh, there's a second of like intense staring into into your eyes, and then it hits you, and you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you are drunk as shit. You have this advantage on all your ability checks. I will say that I have reached an unsafe amount of of of, yeah. of drinking. <laughs> He like looks at you and he doesn't seem to be like a hundred percent there either. So it takes him a while and it's like a I win! I win! And he turns towards the family, you see as the wife like a pause. <laughs> the, the the two kids do not pay attention to this. Like, yeah, that, that's nice, dear. Like they don't give shit. But that's it. I require water. <laughs> hmm? I require water and I must get it now. And she just stomps so <laughs> far. <laughs> and just, come, just uh, you, you, she goes, well played, and then goes straight to the bartender. Sir, sir, okay. I need water. Yeah, I, I, I could tell. I could tell you did. Uh, he goes, he brings you a glass of water. There you go. There you are. There you Thank are. Thank you. I chug it. One um, more. Okay, let's I, calm down. I give the most subtle like under the 
uh, and pull up a chair. Um, so, are we the first team that you guys seen all day? Yeah, uh, I mean, we we saw all the teams at uh, the Castle Plaza, but yeah, we did we done some shopping. The library is closed until tomorrow, so we haven't done much. We don't even know who we're competing against. So yeah, you guys are the first. Are we the first too? First so far. Oh, you know, nice. we're just love to hear why why the shepherd trials for you guys. Oh. What what pulls you out for the competitions? Well, uh, uh, as a family, we decided to our village up north was resided up north. We resided up north and with the war going on and everything, it was just completely level to the ground. Uh, we had not much else to do, so we started as it's a weird family business, but mercenaries for hire. And we thought that, I mean, it's not the most noble pursuit, but a shepherd would pay better. So that's the, the true reason why. Uh, one of my children uh, actually wants to become an earth officer later on, like a big one. I can't pay that, not after I lost everything. And uh, But they would become a great scholar and they could be, uh, they could learn all they need to do uh, through that. Uh, so my wife and I decided to sign us up and that's why we're here. What about you? Uh, I, I, I suppose, honestly, the shepherds have always been more, more myth than reality to me. And there's no better thing to do as a storyteller than be part of that myth. I, I want to see it for myself. I want to carry those stories in me and and, and shape what they look like. Um, Porcamello has always been off in the distance for me, and uh, it's time I saw it up close. You're not from here? Not from here. Oh, that's funny, I thought you have a specific Gamelian accent, but all the accents look the, sound the same when you're from up north. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, um, I, I guess I, I ran through a lot of different crews with our ship and it just rubs off, I suppose. Uh, and, and with that, she, you know, looks over to Zala and be like, what about you? Uh, what brings you to the Shepherd Trials? So Zala had been like staring, like very obviously at, um, sorry, who was his name again? The Abna is the one with the red head and Amir uh, Amira is the one with the two pigtails. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anna's been like staring at um um Zana's been staring at um, everyone, especially after the father told that story about um their village uh, or town up north being like leveled. And he just kind of I, um I'm from up north as well, probably from a different town, so um, is, is your town level? Has your town been leveled to the ground? I hope not. I've only been here for a day, but I don't know what could happen in a day. Oh, my, uh, we come from Evernaught, and this was like a year ago, so you're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. He <laughs> like, just relaxes his whole body, like, scared our boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm so sorry. Okay. You see, I was like, the wife says, like, I'm so sorry. We, we, we did not mean to scare you. This was, this was a long time ago. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm from Rosario. Um, it's a, it's a town up north as well. We're kind of in a similar situation, and your town was in as well. We were, kind of in the crossfire and of the whole battle going up on up north so I, I came to be a shepherd so i can go back up there and help and defend well that's that's a very noble goal uh we don't have as noble aspirations but of course we want to help we also want to help ourselves i know that that's not the that's most heroic fair. thing to say maybe it's not what a shepherd would say but you know it's our family we have to take care of each other no, my, my parents always say the most selfless thing you can do is be selfish. If, you, if you're yourself not in a good place, you can't help anyone else. That's very wise. Hey, the drunk one. Uh, that's not oh, me. I am drunk her. right now. You doing I will, good? I will return mm. to soberness in about... Mm, in about a couple of hours, I have drank no, the amount of water needed for my body, and I now just have to wait this out. I promise you, I am focusing very hard on being sober, and I will be so soon. 
Good. It should be fine. Don't worry. It's oh, fine before Matthew. A lot of words to say that you're fine. Have you... I'm good. How are you, sir? I won. I'm good. That's right, you did. Yeah. And she puts out a high, like a high five. <laughs> like high five and she like stumbles. Because like, well, good. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> you killed it. I, <laughs> you're welcome to join us at the table if you want. I want to hear your stories. I know uh, my friend Nebia here, uh, and I know my friend Zala. What about you? Why did you become a shepherd? Sorry, you're I'm asking me. I'm going to talk to Joy. Yeah. Come, come, no, come. You're asking, asking me, for us. Leon? No, you're I'm asking, asking me. Yeah. Me. Right. Why I became a shepherd. Oh, boy. Okay. Right. And she kind of situates herself and kind of, uh, like, leans on her glaive a bit. <laughs> and <laughs> a bit drunkenly. She says, well, I chose to be a shepherd to defend those who cannot defend themselves. As you know, Porcamello is war-torn. And I will be the one to protect those that cannot protect themselves. It's something I decided for myself. It's keeping me going. It's keeping me... It's keeping me focused. And... And driven. And it's just the right way to go. I've, I've seen it. I've seen how the shepherds can, you know, bring, make everyone safe. And that's just truly all I want is for everyone to be safe, you know? Um, if that makes sense. He takes a second, and like he looks, looks at you like, okay, that's a lot of feelings. But that's that's nice, dear. That's, isn't that nice? And like he turns towards his wife, and she says, hey, yeah, that's nice. That's that's nice. That's very nice. Yeah, that's nice. Right, girl? That, <laughs> she turns around. I'm on a journey. They do a whole like circle of that's nice, isn't that nice? You know, to diffuse the awkwardness of the, the speech. <laughs> you know, thank you so much for acknowledging this adventure I'm on and this journey. And we're all in it together. That's the beauty of it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very... Okay, well, that's very... And, like, swiftly turns towards the... So how about, how about you? Uh, are you also in a never-ending quest for beauty and uh, peace? Leon is completely distracted, just grinning uh, ear to ear, looking at Joy, finally figuring out what drunk Joy is like. <laughs> yes, objective complete. <laughs> and so you can, oh, oh, um, ah, me? No, 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 no nothing like that. Much more <laughs> ah, simple, less, less feelings. Um, no, I've been, I've been studying all my life, and uh, I just want really to know what the, the, the scholar shepherds are keeping for themselves. <laughs> That's the main reason. Uh, you know, been going at it since I'm like six years old, I think. Private tutors, uh, university, library, learning the, the, the works of the greats, you know, Johannes the Wise and, I don't know, Tyrell the Golden, stuff like that, you know. And... Uh, I need to know the last piece, you see, the, the last bastion of uh, of written word in our little city before I leave and explore the world. Uh, that's decent. Yeah, I, I'm not much for books, but my child over there, Abna, Abna loves books. They, they, they love the whole like technology thing. Isn't that right, Abna? They spend all the time in the all the time, never seen the sun, all the time playing with the little things and reading the books. Like, I enter, I say, are you winning? They don't respond. I leave. And that's my whole thing. My other child, <laughs> my other child, Amaya, she's much more about going out, seeing friends. But she, oh, she's not much for books either. She's more like her father. Aren't you, Amaya? And just hear, mm -hmm. like, no, like, no response more than one word. <laughs> well, oh, well, it will get less it's pronounced with age. You have. It really is. I <laughs> just hope that we don't uh, match against each other. That would be. At least not in the beginning. That would be annoying. I really like you. How about this? If we do end up fighting against each other, whoever wins pays around for the ones that lose. Huh? That is a truly fun idea. Yeah. I bet it's fun for you, lady. But yeah. Not you, John. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. That's, is that a promise? Yeah, that's, that's a totally yeah. a promise. Fantastic. 
That's uh, we're going to head on for the night. It's getting pretty late, and we have to wake up very early in the morning. You take care of your hangover, because it's going to be fun tomorrow. And see you soon. I drank a lot of water. I should be okay. Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, best of luck. Okay. <laughs> You go and like they turn towards each other. They give you the goodbyes and they exit to the, towards the door. Huh. That's good. Good. They're nice. I have to say, you guys, I'm so sorry that I got this level of drunkenness. That's truly not safe. What if something were to happen? I need to be able to protect all of you as you are all my fellow squadron. My joy, 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 joy. Don't. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't, please don't apologize. Uh, if anything, I think this was a blessing because I'm just having a lot of fun seeing you in a, in a different light, you see? <laughs> oh, good. You're having fun. That's, that really makes everything so much better. <sighs> I think you're focusing on the wrong thing, but it's a small step for now. Let's, <laughs> let's focus on the small step. <laughs> you know what? I am so happy you guys are having a fun time. That's really important to me. Okay, okay. So I, I think maybe, maybe we should go head on to the to the to the inn, huh? Maybe it's time. Yes. Sleep <laughs> would help sleep. get rid uh -huh. of the drunkenness. That is proven to be a fact. Although I'm, on I'm plenty feeling of, plenty the sugar times... crash at the end of my sugar rush, so I feel like I'm gonna pass out any at any moment. I drank too much lemonade. Oh, and you can just see like he's like so he's, 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 he's just bad for bouncing his legs up and down. Oh no, I'll brush my teeth. I'll make sure they're always clean. Oh good. Okay. All oh, 30 dude. of them? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's like, like I'm making sure they're all clean. They kind of like gesture to those like fangs at the side yeah. of his face. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. Ah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> well, this was let's fun. call it let's call it a day then. Yeah. Yeah. I and think I'm ready Joy, to sleep. Yeah. Try to sleep a good amount because on plenty of occasions I went to, to sleep drunk and then when I woke up I was still drunk. Uh, but me, I, did, I didn't sleep enough. Make sure you do. I'm going to sleep so much. But if I miss breakfast, can you guys please leave some for me or grab some for me and set it to the side? I will be so hungry tomorrow. Of course. Cool. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. I need to settle that tab. Oh, Nebia, please. Please <laughs> let me help. You see, as Renard is waiting for you guys, be like, so. It's a business expense. Is it time to pay? We have no business. <laughs> <laughs> you, can write um, off as a, you can write off as a tax pay on taxes. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. Y'all have no. <laughs> Leon walks up to, to Renard. Uh, how, how much did. Kind of points at Nebia. It'll be, it'll be two spent? silver. Oh, all right. Here. And he gives him three. Sorry for the, the drunk one. Yeah, it's fine. It's, uh, we, uh, we see drunk ones every day here. It oh. comes with the territory. You guys head back <laughs> safe. And best of luck yeah. in your thing tomorrow. You will be safe. Okay. We will. Right next to you. Maybe. Safety first. Right next to you. <laughs> all right, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's just all right. be safe. Let's go. <laughs> Fantastic. Don't don't forget your your weird little monkey. Come on. <laughs> uh, you guys and the beast that accompanies you and haunts Nebia's dreams, make your way towards. Uh, I'm assuming the roost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. And you head back from the ninth. Uh, unless you want to do something specific uh, for tonight. I will. Does someone want to? When we get up to our room, mm -hmm. um, drunkenly, kind of just start taking off all of my armor and uh, just kind of not getting like naked or anything. I'm just like taking off all of my ar armor and everything, and I take down my hair and I just kind of let out like a big sigh. <sighs> okay. Are you in your room now? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would, I would head up all the way to the room. And... In the bed that you had chosen for yourself, you do spy yeah. a little small note. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I look at the note. And what does it say? 
sending it over to you on Ooh, Discord. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ooh. My hair down, looking at this note. Um, I stopped smiling, probably for like the first time the entire day. Um, hey. I kind of fold it up really small and put it in my notebook. Close my notebook and put it in my bag. And I sit on the bed and I kind of just take a deep breath. Given that display, Leon will was like halfway through taking his capelet off and whatnot, and just looks back as you um, exhale <laughs> with your deep sigh. Walks up to you. Um, hey, you okay? Oh, right. Hi. Uh, yeah. No, I'm totally good. I'm just a little drunk, and you know, it just it just hit me really hard. So <laughs> don't don't worry. I'm totally okay. Please yeah. don't worry. You don't worry. You just get plenty of sleep. You know, dream of of happy things, um, of winning the shepherd trials, of um, getting the cool books that you want. Uh huh. Uh huh. All the good hey, things. Joy, can you promise me something? Sure. If you want to care that much about our safety and about our well-being. You have to promise me that you will let us care about you as well, okay? <laughs> you guys really, like, I've, trust me, it's, we're so good, all of us, so good. <laughs> Drunk as shit. <laughs> 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 all right. Woo! All right. She's a wild. <laughs> we're good. I just need to sleep, you know? I'm not going to press you, but we just met today. But we're gonna be working together. If there's yeah. something you need, just come to me or to one of the others. We're here for each other, okay? You too. Same. All right. I've got you. Now you get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night. Nevia from like the corner is like, that was really cute. That was really <laughs> sweet. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Screaming, I love you guys as you cry into your pillow to go to bed. Bella screams back, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild to me that the setup truly is like Zala gets his own room and no one sleeps with him. Everyone yeah. sleeps with him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll sleep so much. I think. He sleeps in one bed. There's a lot of seats in the other bed, you know, we get our own bed, it's fine, it's cool. Exactly. Fantastic. Well, and sleep's fine, and sleep finds you. I would say that everyone wakes up sooner, uh, like, earlier than Joy. You were having a hard time sleeping today. Uh, you yeah. were having, a, not, not a hard time sleeping, you are having a hard time waking up. But morning comes, and the sun streams down into your rooms. It is early morning, and it is the morning where uh, the trial, like the, the people that you will be fighting against the trials, uh, will be announced. You've been told to meet at 9 a.m. sharp uh, at the Shepherd Barracks. Oh, no. What time is it? It is currently 8, 8 a.m. 8 a.m., okay. I'm so Rise and shine, Timmy. How are you doing that? Okay. I think Zala's been up for like an hour already. <laughs> he already... knocks on on Zala's door like slowly as to not like make too much noise for for joy you kind of hear like a low clanging of metal and as, and and you just hear it's open oh opens it up oh you're ready already and he just like turns around like takes off a set of goggles and turns around like yes i've been awake for about an hour are we ready to go Oh wow! Uh, no, we're going to grab a bite to eat before we go. Uh, have oh, you I think I've eaten already? already? Actually, no, oh, yeah, I completely you... forgot. But I have something in my backpack. Hold on, and he just like opens up his <laughs> and starts pulling um, out um, like sandwiches that he has he kept in his in his, um, in his little um, almost like tank of a backpack. Um, and you see Kujo holding one as well, 
uh, basically trying to feed um, Zala as he's eating another sandwich. It looks like you're good. You sure you don't want the the breakfast from downstairs? I heard they have pastries. I'm okay. All right. Well, I'll ask one more time eventually, and then I'll stop asking. So, <laughs> you do you. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for the heads up of your, your game plan about asking. I would never expect it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, similar to how, like, Leon gently knocked on that door, um, I kick down the door for our bedroom <laughs> and go, rise and shine! <laughs> Horizon. Kudo excitedly is going to rush out of Zala's room and he's going to try and climb up Nebia's leg and like hop on the oh, head. It's, it's on. It's on me. It's on me. It's on me. Take it off. Get it. Please. God. It just totally freezes up. <laughs> Zala's poked his head out. It means he likes you. I, I, don't I like simply it. wish that he unlike me. Right now, uh, Zala, I don't. Um, Kujo, I don't think he he likes. She likes it. Come, Kujo, come back, Kujo. I got Kujo. I need your help over here. And then Kujo's like crawls back down, um, off you, and rushes back to Zala. <laughs> Sorry, he gets very excitable in the morning. Why did you give it fingers? You don't so like you can fingers. grab things and help me with when I'm building. I only have two. Mm -hmm. I only have one set of arms. So extra pair of hands always helps. Lovely. Speaking of an extra pair of hands and yeah. arms to join us today, how are you feeling, Joy? She kind of... Uh, I'm feeling so good. You know? Um, just give me a second. And she just kind of puts her hair back up and... And just kind of gets up. Shakes it off, and you like she co appears completely normal, but you can see just like a little bit of sweat <laughs> down her, her forehead. <laughs> and she's like, I'm totally, I am good, right? So, I said 8 30, we gotta go. We got what time is it? Sorry, it will be 8 10. Breakfast, breakfast, uh, it passed that now. Breakfast, Joy, do, do you eat meat? I do, yes. Okay, so you get ready, and I'll just go downstairs. And uh, Leon goes cool. downstairs and asks specifically to cook them like a, a ridiculous amount of bacon with a lot of grease to cure this hangover. <laughs> Omar is waiting for you. He has like a whole like assortment of uh, breakfast foods, but he will add some bacon for you. <laughs> Should we head downstairs? Yeah, maybe you want right, to. Can I take just a moment, just a moment to myself? And then I follow. <laughs> Not a bow out of place. As you head downstairs. Yeah, I definitely polish my armor, everything. Mm -hmm. As you head downstairs, uh, the smell of like breakfast foods hit to you and it's beautiful. There's like a display of all kinds of breakfast food. It seems to be a specific predilection for sweets, like sweet uh, stuff. You see croissants, you see eclairs, you see pancakes, but you do see a sizable amount of ham uh, that uh, uh, Leon has specifically asked for. And then... Hey, friends. Wow, this looks <sighs> incredible. Fantastic. I mean, kind of yells it out a bit <laughs> to the chef. Oh, my just gives you a smile. Okay. Zala is just missing out. This is incredible. Zala is like sat um, at the coffee table and it's just he doesn't he doesn't even acknowledge or hear any and um, what mm -hmm. Leon just said. He's just working on Kujay's store. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of without looking up just says, Um Joy. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Could Do I you need help again? Second? Yes, of course. Actually I want to help I... you. Oh, uh whatever for. Um I noticed you were trying to like clean up your armor and yeah that seemed like a lot of effort so i can help you with that really Should I like crouch down please oh yeah 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 <laughs> i kind of take a knee <laughs> i take a knee and, uh, <laughs> and um with kujo on his head kujo and zala are gonna start like 
Do you mind if I... It, it, it rubs off, but do you mind if I put a little quick inscription on here? I, I trust you with my life. Okay, perfect. And it's gonna... We've um... each other for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we are best friends. <laughs> uh, and what he does is um, he kind of gets two tools. They kind of look like almost like scalpel, scalpels. And he pricks his finger with both of them and gives one to Kujo and he has the other one. And both he and Kujo start inscribing something into your armor. And, hmm. um, and then he just goes, okay, don't move. This might be a bit scary. And he pulls out a, a, a hammer, a um, smithing hammer, and just yeah. goes, it won't hurt a lot and it slams it into the <laughs> into, into the armor um as and as he does um just see a ripple of like white coat the armor and then the inscription disappears Ooh. and now with my infusion i've infused your armor um with my artificial infusion and now your armor is a armor of gleaming um wow. so if i remember that correctly i think that means it can't be dirtied um there's probably some, something else i need to open up but that's one of the uh, criteria so you can kind of just see like there watch this and he just kind of gets um some jam from his sandwich that he had that stores on his fingers and rubs it across your armor and it just immediately disappears wow there that's so now incredible. because you're probably going to be taking most of the hits for us i will probably too but i feel like you should look good while doing it so this will keep you looking good while doing it i absolutely love this thank you so much no problem honestly you made my day his thank you his bleeding finger like no problem oh, are you okay yeah okay cool breakfast oh no i can't have breakfast are you okay i already had i already ate i have oh, sandwiches okay okay i need food desperately it's important You're to really have a nutritious yesterday. breakfast Oh, I know, it was completely unsafe and so not like me. I mean, those those drinks hit me so hard. I think it's I think it's really just the excitement of everything going on. You know, it just hit me harder than usual. So better watch out for next time. You can have my lemonade best, next time. I feel like it'll hit hard. The best hard. thing about this conversation is they're talking about who's going to protect who in the party. And then Nebby and Leon are just stuffing their faces with food <laughs> on the table. <laughs> I head back I and also me. proceed to scarf this food. <laughs> just Wonderful. like, and she has a huge appetite. She just scarfs Fantastic. to see the food disappearing. <laughs> nice. Okay. Is that the end? Should we proceed towards the barracks? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Go ahead and make your way towards the overworld. Just let me eat this croissant. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm ready. Take it to go. Stuff it in a pocket. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> Nubia definitely like slips a few things down her shirt. <laughs> like, that's going to be good for later. On the way there, Leon takes an eclair out of his pocket and gives it to Zala. Look, just in case you want it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I love that Leon's like a mom friend. <laughs> <laughs> eat something. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Truth is important. We're gonna study all day. It's important to be. <laughs> you make your way oh God, throughout the city. Seasons. You cross one bridge to go towards the western part of Port Gamello. Uh, the western part is much easier to traverse. Even the ones that are not well known, like not don't know the city super well. Uh, eastern part. I'm so sorry. I saw your little guys going towards the west. I was like, what are you? Uh, eastern part of the city. The eastern part of the city is much easier to traverse, even for those of you that are not from the city, because of its very easy like grid system. And in no time, you find yourselves in the eastern barracks of the shepherds, where you've been instructed to wait at. And I let you go inside now. Ooh, music change. Oh no. <laughs> Fantastic. Can only mean one thing. We might have to learn something. As you enter, you do <laughs> see the same squads that you saw before in the very first day, accompanied by the squad leader. You do see a lone squad leader waiting for their squad. It seems to be almost nine, so you are on time. Uh, that long, long breakfast almost made you... <laughs> I was actually going to be like, okay, they're late, because they're like waiting so much for this breakfast thing. But yeah, 
uh you do make it on breakfast uh even with the hearty breakfast you do make it on tide you do see ivor uh waiting for you uh they seem to be like at the cusp of getting mad because they thought you were going to be late but then you get on time yeah. so you see us like it's a mix of i'm glad they're here i'm disappointed i don't get to lecture them <laughs> you know it's that yeah. middle ground yeah. of both um but yeah uh you see as uh he doesn't make much talk, uh, much much talk. He just like gives you a cautious no nod and says, uh, "The name should be revealed in no time." Perfect. All right. The atmosphere seems to be pretty heavy. You see, as like everyone here is trying their best mm. to wait for uh, this name thing to be like the the order of the trial to be revealed. Uh, you do hear some snickering coming from your right. Uh, towards the group that you uh, ah. interacted briefly before. You see this <laughs> material like, uh, is right next to uh, this very tall uh, orcish woman. You see as he's like digging his elbow on like like in her ribs and like like egging her to laugh. She seems to be not interested in particular about this. Like she's, mm -hmm. she's not laughing. She's just like looking in your direction and just looking elsewhere. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working, but it, they seem, he seems to be pretty amused that you ended up coming here later than they did. Uh, and yeah. So that is a waves, like, right at them. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Oh, that's the other group. Um, mm -hmm. she kind of looks around. Is nobody... Like, are none of the groups socializing with each other? Are they all just sticking They seem to... to be very much in the same group. You see that on your left, this group that you met last night gives you, mm -hmm. a, like, a, a hello, like a little... Oh, like yeah! A little uh, mm -hmm. They seem to be here on time as well. Uh, they also seem like their, their shepherd leader is also a dwarf. Uh, mm. And they seem to be doing good. They seem to be doing much better than you are, though. Specifically. Okay. Like, they seem... like it, it doesn't seem like Joaquim has taken a big toll out of... Uh, the drinking contest but yeah <laughs> you do see as like two shepherds descend from two of the stairs and uh this seems to be the uh signal for the other shepherd leaders to call their squad's attention and you do see as from the ceiling these rolls of drapery like basically like something like uh, a long if you've ever seen a rug being rolled into like a long roll, mm -hmm. that's basically the set from the ceiling. And they seem to wait. And you see as one of the scholars uh, just like snap their fingers and the rolls of tissue unfurl quickly. And on them, they seem to be, they seem to have made pairings of two letters. And you see mm -hmm. several letters with each other. And you do see a J, next to a golden E. And those are the first pairings for the trial. It seems like it's been paired against the squad, J. <laughs> I look directly at J, like the group. You see as point. they look up towards uh, their square, like the their, their scroll, they look towards you. And there's a little bit of like, ah, you know, what are you gonna do? Yep. You know what I mean? And then, uh, uh, you see as Enola just gives you like a courteous like nod and you see as Joaquin like just boxes the air in your direction like come on bring yeah. it on you know like, he, like, he, they don't seem like overtaken with grief it's just it's the name of the game you know you decide yeah, up for yeah, competition sure. yeah. yeah you oh, see as more and more of the teams basically everyone looks up then looks at the team they're against and then they look toward the team and they start like whispering right like that's the yeah. vibe today <laughs> yeah Oh man. I kind of Maybe nod and smile. <laughs> no, we're all in this together, truly. Wildcats. I am so excited. Get your head in the game. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh gosh. Trust me. Yeah. This is an honorable competition. Together. Yes. This is an honorable competition. Whoever loses, it's a fair game, but we'll win. Does it have to be a fair game? We could. No. I no. Can deeply respect. Fair game. I would like it to be. They were nice. Well, I know it was nice. I'd like to fight her fairly. Well, I, I have 
this this my personal opinion is that you should keep it fair until someone is unfair to you, then it's an all fair game. <laughs> you see as Ivo like looms sense. above you all and he says like I would like to believe that it's fair and if it isn't I don't want to see it. Okay. That's got point. it. Good. We, oh. we have lots of honor. Uh, just as a reminder, um, yeah, I know. Just as a reminder, very quick. You can always drop out of the trials. There's no shame. That's fine. If you're too scared, it's okay. We won't. There's a little bit of shame. Maybe you should, but... Just a little bit we of shame. We won't. So, that's that. Good. Well, if you don't wish to, uh, to, to drop from the trials, that's fine. However, uh, I will heavily encourage you to find more about the enemy that you will be fighting tomorrow. And best of luck. Apparently, there's a ball involved and a royal manticore. Royal manticore and a ball. Got mm -hmm. it. Ball. It's good. You will be explaining the rules of the ball when you get to your trial. The royal manticore, it's on you. And then, just one quick question. Yep. How does it work? Like, with is it a scoring system where the team that performs the better passes? What's what's the deal? The first part of the trial where you have to hunt down a specific monster. That is not a scoring system. If you make it through, you get it to the second part. If you don't and you die trying, there you, you die trying. The second part is a scoring system. And that second part depends on the lieutenant that is judging that specific trial. This one, it's a ball and the scoring system will be explained to you at the trial itself. Question. When Tell you me. say die trying, you don't mean like die trying. Oh, no, I do right. mean die trying. Yes, we've had several deaths and uh, you signed up for them, so... But that's why, I mean, if you have to leave, it's understandable. It's okay, we will make, we'll make sure you're safe. Whenever you sign up for the trials, you give your life for poor Gamalo as a shepherd. Uh, and that takes, sometimes takes place sooner than you would like it to be. And that's the name of the game. All right. Let's do it. Good. I'll meet you tomorrow here at nine. Best of luck. Thank okay. you. He mm. gives you a nod and leaves. Fantastic. Well. So, if we learned anything from last night, um, we're going a bunch to, against a bunch of mercenaries who have probable cause to kill us. Okay. Cool. cool. Well, cool. Cool. listen, cool. listen. We've got this. We just have to research and be prepared. We'll go to the library. We'll study what the Royal Manticore is. And, you know, it's going to be fine. We're all ready for this. Trust me. I'm excited. I do trust I haven't got to use Kujo in battle for a while. We have tough competition, but we've got this. And she kind of looks back to see like where uh, our leader walked away and she says, he's doubtful, but deep down, I know he believes in us. I wouldn't be so sure, but uh, what's important <laughs> is that we believe in ourselves. And I think that's fine. We're gonna yeah. make it. Research, Absolutely. preparation, and you well, know so what, what does Joy, everyone honestly? do? Sorry? Exactly. I think I was going to say, I, Joy, I can... your idea from yesterday is good. We should actually know yes, what yes, we can do. Yes. Each other. Like I said, it's so important to be prepared. The more prepared we are, the more we can know how to tackle the situation at hand and the safer we can all be. Okay. I mean, we I can't vote. plan for anything. Gotta be flexible sometimes. Yeah. That is true. I'm a bit more of an improviser. We'll do the best we can. Well, I'm gonna say that there are plenty of ears here, so I would suggest we go to a secluded part of the library. Morning, we work on knowing ourselves as fighters, and then in the afternoon, we do some research on this royal manticore, whatever it is. Right. Yes, Sounds I definitely like want to go to the library. Right. In the ball. We'll see what happens there. 
Uh, yes, the Royal Manticore, I think, is the easiest kind of thing to tackle at, at first. In the library, and does does she see, like, people heading out? Yeah. Like, have people started people moving? People seem yeah. to all be going towards the library, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with... And we're back. Sorry about we're that. Back. <laughs> My internet died. And you know, that's what you get for uh, the joys of online D&D are many, but the the pains are many as well. And sometimes this happens and it's fine. <laughs> we're back. Yeah. So our heroes were going towards the library to check on the Manticore and check on ball manners. Like what do you do in a wall? Yeah. Fantastic. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my internet. Uh, <laughs> The library of Pokemon is known the world over. It's an incredible space. You see, uh, basically, it's huge. It kind of, it doesn't rival the council building because nothing rivals the council building on Oropesa, but it sits on top of the, one of the three lesser hills of the city. And it's an imposing building with like a square hall that is basically like a net, like a hollowed out square inside. It has a court and four towers on each of its corners and inside. Uh, there's this air of reverence and uh, um, the sense of like going into a place that is not uh, that is a place of learning, right? Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. This library. Really. Oh, the first obstacle is in our way. The receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> the, receptionist. <laughs> yes. the first creature of darkness. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Listen, I racked up a lot of library finds as a kid. They can get nasty. 
your criminal your criminal activities follow you <laughs> i see fantastic you do find a receptionist so i'm loading i'm aware that the music is not there i'm loading it back on uh because of Don't that worry. fall on the internet completely died uh Don't worry. fantastic so you do find the receptionist waiting on you uh it doesn't seem to be quite an obstacle she like as she as you come in she gives you a big smile she says i'm guessing squires uh, yes, correct. Uh, yes, good. That would be correct. Yes. yes. Good, good. You, you were looking for Manticore? Yes, that would be ah. correct. Ball education. As well, yes. Good. Well, everyone wants the same thing. So you do proceed to the left for the Manticore in this very first floor. Ball etiquette, we don't have much, and your friends have uploaded, have taken the books that we do have. So, uh, so you won't find that much, but best mm -hmm. of luck. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I realize if now we probably should have just ran to the library. Yeah. Should've. But also, if everyone's looking for the same books, maybe we can learn the information from them instead of, you know, mm. a primary the source material. We got to be around here somewhere. I'm, I think surely I, if they are like honorable reading. people, can they will read? share the information with us. Um, this is a competition. It is a competition. I, I don't know. I, if, if it was me, I wouldn't be that eager to share, honestly. But uh, we can try. Maybe uh, we kind of look around the library or kind of search for other people because at this point, we know that. Are you searching for other people or are you searching for books on the Magic Core? I am um, personally keeping an eye out for the sounds of other teams I could eavesdrop on. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Zal is Zal is looking for books. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna need Leon's with Zala. I'm gonna need a perception check from you, Nabia, and an investigation check from you, Zala. If someone is helping you, do that with advantage. Yeah, I'm helping someone. Um, okay. Mm, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. So then, Joy, you're with me. We're gonna do a little reconnaissance. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. slightly yep. better. So fifteen. Twenty-three. 23? Hey, okay. Way. Zala. I am a ghost in the night. <laughs> the ghost in the night. Uh, Zala, with, uh, it takes you, I would say, one hour to find the books and one hour to go through them, right? Uh, but the info that you find is around this. And I will drop that down on Discord. You are welcome to share it with the stream. Nebia, with yes. that uh, perception roll, you do manage to overhear one of the teams. I'm going to need an extra stealth check to see if you manage to, like, you know what I mean? Uh, listen yeah. without being heard. And I'm How guessing... did I roll a one? <laughs> <gasps> no! The what first is the one? Is it one? The first Are one? you helping, Joy? Yeah, because I'm also with her. Okay. I'm with her, and we'll see if it... <laughs> But what did you roll a stealth check? I'm rolling. Oh, why would you roll a stealth check? I didn't thing. give you that stealth check. True. Yeah. All right. Nebula, you, you get a second stealth check if you want to. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. 25. A nat, that's okay, a nat 20. 20. Wow. A nat 20. A nat 20. A song of one. Yeah, a nat 20. A song of one and 20. How did I go from a crit to a crit? A song of one and 20. So I think that what happens is you go towards like where you hear the sounds of like as what you can tell it's a team and you um you joy you do see that they are in fact like dragging their scarf around and they're about to knock a whole pile of books and you just lift like run lift the scarf up, like the scarf up and that's yeah. the advantage you okay. don't tell them but you do make your way towards this i, I think in like maybe towards the south next to these two but on the other side of this uh, of the shelf nebia these two here. Mm -hmm. these two here okay oh, okay uh you did manage to spot them in the campaign i don't think that you're i i think that nebia wrote for the style check on nebia and joy but mm -hmm. you do manage you do recognize their uh like them from the council plaza they seem impeccably dressed once again clearly from noble origin or at least one of them the other one seems to be wearing more of an outfit that you've seen on servants and people that clean the house 
and they seem to be talking very like in an animated way and you hear the one with the long blonde hair speak uh very like uh matter of factly like no in as if they were reading from a book in specific and you hear them say something specific about what you hear is something like oh apparently uh, um there's this uh scholar shepherd named uh, fabricio uh he recounts discovering a small village uh that had uh, a chosen manticore uh, a royal manticore as its leader uh the manticore was incapable of direct speech you see as she's like reading uh but used some sort of telepathic communication to convince the villagers to worship it uh the scholar theorized it wasn't normal conversation but rather some sort of mental manipulation that the manticore the manticore had used to gain its subjects uh, he found the villagers too far gone into this manipulation to be saved, apparently. They seem to be discussing this specific event, and I will copy that over to you on Discord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I, I whisper to Nebia, Oh boy, manipulation magic. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That means we really have to be prepared to not get, you know, manipulated the same way that the small village did. Yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully we can brace ourselves for that. I was assuming it'd be a fit of strength, but it's looking like we're, we're gonna have to steal our wits just as well. Um, I got to Leon. Oh, guys. Yeah, I, I pass the information along to Leon, um, mm -hmm. and have, this is what I found. Did you guys uncover anything? Leon and Zala seem to be still, because Leon and Zala are reading, this will take more time than what you did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, so they will yeah, yeah. uncover something, they did uncover stuff and I sent that to Zala, but it will take a longer time for them to come back with that information. I will say around two hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do we? Yeah, that's um... why I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> do uh did we hear anything about like the small town that they were talking about like what the no. small town was no. called no they were specifically talking about like an account of someone talking about royal manticores okay 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 yeah mm. so is set up at the north of the um library just got books open all around him as he's reading through through mm -hmm. all these manticore stories and i don't know biology books and stuff like that trying to get through and trying to understand what's going on. Fantastic. I really, I just walk up to them, or like walk up to him. I what really should you wanna, I really want to find a weakness. If we could find some sort of weakness, we know that, and we can't, I, phone, I inform him of yeah. the information that we found. Mm -hmm. um, so Ooh. if that's helpful in your research, I hope it helps. And I'm just going to just start go, I'm going to go do my own research now. Uh, just kind of looking at maybe, um, maybe like, I guess, creatures being um, like having like manipulation magic, I guess like manipulation magics or mm -hmm. like, um, or in specific, maybe small towns or settlements that have been kind of taken advantage of by creatures that's okay. very specific but yeah super uh <laughs> we'll see yeah and we could start with manipulation magics yeah. i guess mm -hmm. while we're while we're doing that before we do that why um leon and nebia what would you guys like to do zala is studying yeah um... leon sees zala studying and sees that nebia got this information off of other people and goes all right fine i won't search for anything else then just gonna sit down Remember that the receptionist said that every information about the ball etiquette was probably taken and being studied by. Oh, other she didn't people. say that. She didn't say the others are the the ball is up top and everyone is looking at the same information. She didn't say everything was taken. Okay. Um, well, still, Leon's just going to sit down, take a piece of parchment, and start writing his own um, take on ball etiquette to share with the rest of the party. Because <laughs> I, I imagine he has attended a fair share of them in high society. Mm hmm. Okay, and then um, what would you like to be doing? So my concern is about, uh, I mean, a lot of what Nebia does as um, a bard is I focus a lot on like debuffs and stuff like that. And my concern with, you know, keeping my party safe for tomorrow's challenges is seeing if I can learn anything about, um, 
you know, mental manipulation and kind of like steeling yourself against that kind of magic. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I go in search of. Fantastic. Okay, so let's make uh, the three of you, not the three of you, I would say Nebia and Joy, go ahead and make separate investigation checks without an advantage because you're doing mm -hmm. like two yeah. specific different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the whole time Zan is like reading with his head resting on his hands okay. and Kujo is that. turning the pages for him on his head. He's turning his head, turning the pages for him. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Very yeah, cute. Nebia, with your 10, you don't find stuff on shielding yourself from manipulation magic. You know, however, that most of these tend to be wisdom saving throws. I will give you that. Okay. Uh, I will take that. I rolled 19, so I know. 21. I know. <laughs> I wanted to let the chat know. Well, they don't true. know. <laughs> Nebia they rolled a 10, know. and with a 10, they get, like, a very like, normal basic clicking. information. Joy rolled a 21, and with a 21, I will tell you that you were looking specifically for mental manipulation and the effects of mental manipulation on specific towns is that it right right i was trying to basically kind of find that town and see what happened mm -hmm. i guess like did they ever figure out like how to with the 21 it? i will say that you find basically someone's dissertation on the paper that scholar fabricio wrote like so the one that you heard okay. those yeah, two yeah, mentioned yeah, yeah. yeah. uh and apparently this was like a while ago like easy like yeah. more than 50 years ago this town is com like completely overtaken. It's a jungle creature. It's a creature that lives in the jungle. So it's very easy for a place that doesn't have much upkeep to be completely swallowed by nature, right? Because nature yeah. is like so, like it overgrows everything there super quickly. So mm -hmm. uh, this, this town is completely gone. However, what ended up happening is uh, this creature kind of like whispers into your mind, but it's not true communication. It's not like this creature speaking. Like, I mean, like the person writing this is not even sure that this uh creature can speak however what it is doing is like either like creating some sort of illusion in your head that you are hearing words and being mm -hmm. convinced but what this person is theorizing is that it's more of a sort of mm, spell that is mental manipulation mm -hmm. and it theorizes that it might be more of a charm which okay. is a charisma yep. saving throw yeah Ooh. okay okay cool I, I find this information and I grab the book and and just kind of I start running and then I walk. This is a competition. I want people to know that I found something. <laughs> even though I started running, and I just go finally getting be into chill. The spirit. I'm like chill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she because she heard what Nebby was saying. She's like, right, I gotta be chill, be chill. Does go Joy say be chill out loud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be chill. And I walk over and I sit down next to Zala and I mm -hmm. open the book and I slide it in, in front of Zala and say, look at this, look at that. Oh. I found something. <laughs> okay, look I'm at it. We're in the library, we're meant to be whispering, okay. Oh, um, no, I just don't want people to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll read, I don't know, I'll just read over it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I okay, know. that's really interesting. That's really good. I guess we could compare that to what I found as well. <laughs> and he's gonna just start like he and Kuja are gonna start pointing out lines of text that he found. Like, so apparently royal manticles are like tropical variants of the hill manticle. Um, yeah, this village was in the in the jungle. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Kind of tropical jungle. That makes sense. They have um, venomous spikes, so it's a thing that we Whoa. might be have to be aware of. So we probably should try not to get scratched by those. Um, okay, they okay. have like Venom. different types of um, venoms and poisons that come out of these spikes and have different effects on people. So you're never different entirely types. sure what is going to happen. Yeah, oh so that's going to be interesting. How does um, how does the venom uh, get put? Uh, how did you get venomized? I'm, I'm assuming by scratched by one of these spikes. Scratched, scratched. So yeah, it's not like probably. jutting out spikes or anything. Um, probably, they probably are jutting out. Okay, okay. Um, well, I mean, not like projectile oh do i know the projectile um it does appear to be yeah. described as a projectile yeah yeah oh. okay yeah they are kind of projectiles hey, so you know. if we can yeah that's perfect um which and this makes sense thinking about the venomous thing they are resistant to any kind of poison so right kind of makes sense it'd be awful if you get picked by your own poison and you know die um right. but good news weakness they're very bad flyers they can fly but not for very can long. Can fly? No. I can't fly. No. 
I mean, Kyujo can. <laughs> wow. What yeah. a talented monkey. He's really, I put a lot of effort into that part. It was really hard to put the fly spell so on cool. Him. He really All right. is. Alright. Um, and I kind of look. Like what are what are Nevia and Leon doing while we're just whispering to each other <laughs> like oh, nerds? I, I've, I've been trying to like pull out Kujo to help me get one of the the taller books. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen the chat, the kind of things I've been been saying to him. <laughs> so I, God, really? so I think, if I can say this to him, I think in order for Nevia to actually get Kujo out, she has to roll a animal handling check. Because <laughs> she's at least Kujo. Zala doesn't notice it, but Kujo noticed that Nebu doesn't really like him. So he's like, why should I help you, kind of? I'll allow Nebu to roll an animal handling or a kind of check. Yeah. I'll do animal handling and see what happens. <laughs> I love yeah. this. 11. 11. You see. Well, go ahead, Zala. What does Kujo do? <laughs> Ooh. Um, okay, so I think. Kujo, like at this point, um, Zala's finished reading, so he's, Kujo's not turning the pages anymore. So he kind of like pokes his head up and looks around at um, Nebia, seeing that they're trying to, I don't know, bring him over. And you just come see. Here. Come here, you little weird ass monkey. Come here. I need a favor. <laughs> <Come here. laughs> so he's gonna, he's gonna come on over to Nebia. He's gonna come on over. And then, like, mm. just read on the ground, look up at Nebia, like, just waiting for what they want. All right. Listen, I'll help you. You help me. That's how this works. <laughs> Give me that book up there, and I will slip you half a breakfast every day. Does it eat? It doesn't. He, he doesn't need it doesn't to anymore. But he doesn't, he doesn't need I don't to, know. I don't care. <laughs> Listen here. You will do this for me. Listen. <laughs> I'm so gonna, gonna let you roll an intimidation check with a pretty high mm. DC. I'm gonna okay. let you a persuasion yeah. one, because that was okay. not persuading. No, I'm not persuading. I'm asserting. I'm an alpha. I'm asserting dominance. I'm an I'm speaking alpha. Speaking the only language he can understand. Uh, Listen here, you little monkey. Shit. <laughs> you weird ass. Twenty-three. <laughs> let's go. Twenty-three. Okay, interesting. Okay, I think... I'll, I'll let you decide that one. Yeah, yeah. So I think because the 11 was still pretty low, yeah. I think there's still going to be a lack of consequence to that. So I think he kind yeah. of like backs up a little bit and then you can just see his eyes kind of like narrow. His ocular kind of like lenses, they kind of narrow. And then he kind mm -hmm. of shakes a little bit and on his back you see two sigils glow and then mm -hmm. just these spectral kind of little wings appear. little Like little fairy wings appear on his back. Yeah. And he cool. flies up to the book, grabs it, the yes. exact one that Nebia wants, and just mm -hmm. drops it on Nebia's head. Just like, <laughs> like, <Nebia> drops it, <laughs> throws good. it at Nebia's head. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you just hear like a little, like a mechanical whirring, and you can just assume that it's him like blowing a raspberry, like, <laughs> and then run, uh, flies <laughs> off over to, but over you got to back to his You got your book. You got your you book. And a headache. <laughs> Incredible. Fantastic. Leon, while you're writing these, um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to make you roll a history, a history check to see how, how well you could recall these kinds of rules. Let's go. That's not bad. 18. 18. Well, 18, I will give you this. Oop. Oh, no. Okay. It's time to dance. <laughs> <laughs> you find that you managed to jot down three rules i don't think you are like the favorite of the balls like you're not like a constant in the concept but you've been to once before maybe once or twice so these are the rules that you do know however you do feel a shadow behind you as you're writing um you know what i mean like that you don't see anything but you do feel like the shadow behind you as you're writing and you do hear a sweet old voice saying, Are you writing a book about a bull? And behind uh, you. you... Mm -hmm. <gasps> I think what? at first, uh, Leon. <laughs> it's hard. Leon's gonna like, Oh, who's annoying me? And then turns back and, Well, oh, um. 
No, you not, not a book, me. just just a few notes for my um, teammates, you know, the, my fellow squires, because they're not as practiced as I am. You do see behind you uh, the towering figure of that woman that was uh, sitting on the, like not sitting, standing on the stairs of the council plaza yesterday, uh, scholar lieutenant Mirabella. Uh, does stand behind you in a sort of like impossible way she truly like has appeared almost from nowhere but is standing behind you it would be creepy for anyone else except for her she's just looking at you with like this kind smile and she's just like you won't find much on etiquette here i'm afraid i hope that's all right um i mean we can do with what we have but perhaps if you have any suggestion i don't know if you're allowed to help the competitors but i'm all here well, I'm not allowed to do that, but I am allowed to point you in the direction of someone that could help. I would appreciate that very, very much, if you could. Hi. I just walk up. Yeah, really. <laughs> and I say, hi, I'm, I'm Joy Everlight. It is such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, yeah, very nice to meet you as well. I was speaking with your friend about ball etiquette. Right. Uh... What were you guys saying? Are are you able to point us in a direction? I am. I am. Yeah, I was about to. Uh, well, uh, uh, I, I'm not a, allowed to talk about um, uh, give like specific contestants like the answers to their questions for reasons that I hope are clear. But I can tell you that there's someone that runs a pleasure house in the Noble District that has attended many of all, and she would be, I'm sure very nice and uh very helpful in your endeavors that's so incredibly helpful thank it you is. so so much uh, excuse I... me my name is zala what's your name and zala's like straight out of hand you don't know her name. you do see i kind of whisper back <laughs> i'm like she's <laughs> <laughs> do you see my like she's like a little bit surprised she's like oh it's been a long time since i've had to introduce myself uh my name is lady mirabella and i'm the lieutenant scholar for the shepherds oh, oh that makes oh that makes sense i was wondering why you're up there yesterday yeah i, I, I was wasn't i well uh i always like to come here in the first days of the travel you see a lot of people uh, very new to the whole scholar and shepherd thing and they seem very excited i always like to watch from the sidelines and ask them while they join and stuff like that but well, i must be I going can... now uh if the oh, other scholars find out see. if the other scholars find out that i uh, was away from my post again they will get so mad at me <laughs> but, oh wait um, before please. you go this is kujo he gets very annoyed when i don't introduce him i'm sorry sorry i'm sorry kujo this is kujo good well i it's nice I, again, to meet everybody. Thank you very thank you much so for your much. help. I, I just want to quickly say that my own, whole reason for joining the Shepherds is to be one of the scholars. So I'm very, very happy that you came to me. Oh, thank you. You want you plan to become a scholar as well? Yes. Well, you uh, when you sign up for the scholar, uh, for the Shepherds, you plan to dedicate your life to Port Gamello. But I do hope that you also dedicate your life to uh, the pursuit of education, uh, if you do find your way towards the Shepherds one day. <sighs> that is the plan. <laughs> we Let's will it absolutely works. do that. Well, very glad to see you and best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And you see, yes, like um, she, I'm oh, sorry, Nabil. I was just going to ask, uh, out of character, did this attract like attention to us, to our table? It's not, the library is not 100% full, but you do see like the couple of people that were here have mm -hmm. like whispered in, like they're whispering and looking in your direction. Yeah. I uh, worry the extra helping hand may have painted a target on their backs. Oh, in that case, I will leave as soon as I came. And you see, as she passes through the podium, the podium, and as she goes like, to, like she does, she never passes out of the podium. She, the podium. She just wow. disappears. Hmm. So cool. Ah, I wasn't expecting that. That was, that was nice. Well, um, we've kind of got it sorted, don't we? Uh, we need to go to the uh, pleasure house, I believe. Uh, did you write <laughs> down the name? 
which I imagine I, I probably uh, wrote down the name, but I, yeah. I lost it. What was the name of the person? She said House of Pillows. I don't think she said House it, but I should have said it. So it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I didn't say it, you could have asked. So I don't think it's yeah. my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. So go to the overall now. And the person mm -hmm. there that she wanted us to talk to, what was the name? She didn't say it. And that you didn't ask, didn't so I won't say it. Oh, but... As long as we know the place, we can just go and ask all the questions and be charming and people will point us in the right direction. That's how you, you know go through you're life. Right. You're right, you're right. And <laughs> I just didn't want to ask so much of her. She was already giving so much to us, you know? Is she yes. famous? She's so famous. Salah, famous. yes! <laughs> One of okay. the three leaders of the Shepherds, the organization you're trying to join? Yeah. Okay, there are three leaders. One of them. She's one of them. Okay. 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 Well, I feel like the message didn't come across, but we'll work on this. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll workshop it later. <laughs> and yeah. as you leave and you make your way out of the library and towards the noble district, uh, asking and asking for this house of pillows, you see in the distance a gaudy building made of like somehow velvet, gold, marble. Uh, into like this sort of like twisting mess of a shape that you can tell is supposed to be elegant, but it isn't. It's like something <laughs> made by someone trying to be elegant and really not making a good job. You spy mm -hmm. uh, like flags of uh, purple leopard print uh, paired with gold leaf and like cherubs singing. And as our heroes, step closer towards this building. We'll wrap it up for today because it is the end of our session. It is. <gasps> yeah. Oh my That's God. It. Session one. <laughs> session one. Please. Yeah. Oh my God. Crushed it. Nailed it. No combat this session because all <laughs> there was no way. <laughs> but I am pretty confident that we're getting into the actual trial next time. So I'm very excited for that. And yeah. there will be plenty of combat for next time. So, yeah. Yeah. It was a sort of so setup heavy what? session. Me back in two yeah. weeks. Uh, yes, back exactly. Weeks. So yes, let's get into next week. Let's get into uh, calendars and stuff like that. Next, uh, this week is session. Should do they call it session zero over on Discord? Yeah, it's like session yeah. zero. Mm -hmm. This week is session zero on Discord, where they're going to be setting up their, like, the players that have joined the West Marches campaign that we are running on Discord in the same city, but using the Blades in the Dark system. This Friday is their session zero. They're going to be building their own houses in their crime house. It's going to be super fun. It's basically like what we're doing here, but like spooky and dark and gritty and edgy mm -hmm. crawling in my skin it's fantastic please go ahead and check out our discord because like if we run games all the time and it's super fun uh but next week next wednesday same time as today i am doing prep work i am actually not sure if it's same time please join our discord and follow us on twitter to know the times for sure but mm -hmm. uh i'm doing prep work for the session and our story will continue the week after that so in two weeks we'll have our trial and I think that's everything. Did I miss something? Yeah. Uh, just to make it clear, you can you know watch us play, but you can also play in the same setting. Yeah. Uh, you can sign up to be a player or a GM in particular through our Discord. And of course, if you have any questions about Multiverse, about Port Gamello, uh, this stream, best way to hit us up is through the Twitter, through the Discord, and you know following up with us there. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for coming. This was a very scary thing to do. It was our <laughs> first uh, our swing first session. So I hope you liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. And we'll see me you too. in two weeks. You'll see me in one week. And the prep, streams, the prep streams will actually prep what we're about to see in the next session. So if you don't get a sneak peek and see a little bit of me dungeon building and building stuff and building stuff on Multiverse, come on, check it out next Wednesday. And thank you for coming. And we love you. Catch you. We love there. you. Are we gonna do the, yes. the Antonio yeah. send off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Antonio send off. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>